the I, don't know what I, I, I to marry you there. And that's what matters. I could have I could have risen the cleric for a day, you know. <laughs> uh, we are gathered that. here today. Right, we are we are live. Right, just let me sort my levels out, and then I'll sort the cameras out, and then we can start a game. So yeah, feel free to talk with yourself while I do all the. Uh, so who's got new cool shit with their with third level? Ah uh, yeah, um, I've become massively overpowered. That's great. Me too. <laughs> I could have chosen magic, but I decided not to. There's too well, much magic going on. <laughs> well, my persuasions um, increased somewhat. <laughs> oh, so I'm even cool. more persuasive. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> after last week, why not be more persuasive? <laughs> it, it, it's just a hint, Ian. I've got a, a thing here that says, treat your GM to an upgrade. Oh yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, do that. <laughs> I think they're trying to get you to um, get um, uh, prime get or something. Premium. Can you? You must be a gift thing because Dave's got premium, but I don't get any of the benefits. He has to be DM for that. I have. To, I have to own the game. I think I don't have to be DM. I just have to create the game. Yes, uh, technically you have to create the game, yeah, and then you can make anyone DM. But right now I've got so much shit in here. It would take me so long to rebuild the, the game. It's just not worth it. No, that's cool. No, no, no. I just I wasn't certain if 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 it's a, a way that I can help fund this to keep it going. I'm more than happy to throw a few quid in his way. So you know. Well, it, when, it, when it, we get to the point where all. things like dynamic lighting become something we might want to do, then I might consider buying <laughs> it. But uh... I'll be honest, it's a freebie anyway, because just because I found a security vulnerability in their site, so yeah. they gave me a freebie. Okay, fair enough. You really were rolling high that week. <laughs> yeah. Um, Dave, have, have you been caught up on what um, nope. you did? You didn't watch the video. Basically, nope, I said uh, role playing is not a spectator sport. I'm sorry. No, it's, well, it is a spectator sport when you're one of the characters when you're so, right, yeah, and yeah. you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> and it fills you in on what happened. Yeah. Okay. So someone, someone filled Dave in, while I uh, figure that. Hello, out. I'm a tree hugger. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, so you playing yourself then? So it was like uh, Back to the Future, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, also, Back to the No. The past. Yeah. Back yeah, to the yeah. now and to the future. And, back yeah. to the future, both parts one and two. Yeah. yeah. There no there's no trade. Yeah. No, there was no. Uh, well, actually. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Part three today, here, folks. Stay tuned. Right. Okay. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Right. We, so... Tonight, tonight, we showed the kids Back to the Future One, just as a sort of, you know, uh, sort of general thing. Uh, and I was horrified by the amount of sexual assault in it. Yeah, he's got sex. Yeah. Him. So which yeah. which of you two was playing your own mother and father, and two tried to cop off with their own mother? Well, Don't yeah. worry, I've already had a word well, with I, you. I seem, to have, I seem to have formed an affection with another elf, so you never know. <laughs> we've got an we've elf in the future. Now. And There's we've going to be a dog in the bushes, past. isn't there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who knows? We have, uh, we have an overabundance of elves. Yeah. yeah. So, in the future, from... past and that's it. It's yeah, so in fun. summary, we were in the, uh, in the lair. We kind of got scared about opening any more doors but we opened one which then had a magic table in that magic table worked with my staff which then bought an elf from the future past no from the past no from the future oh no yeah you're right yeah from the past yeah from the past a druid which was which is tom's new character so that is now joined in um who looked like a homeless person and smelled like shit but yeah. it comes so out with like pills He's very proudly announced that he hasn't bathed in 50 years. I had a bloody shower this morning. What a waste of time that was. <laughs> um, we found the big boss guy. Yep. Um, I seduced oh, him. Yeah. And yeah, we, didn't, we didn't fight him. We just, we just, he just gave us the antidotes and we walked off. <laughs> well, well, yeah, well, basically. We didn't just, well, we didn't just walk off. We, oh, no. we got we got we got the dwarf to mage hand a door that had an enormous golem behind it and like threw it open as we ran out of the complex and left left it to. Oh. I'm I'm sorry I, I I can agree with that one. I mean you know if you don't have to fight then why? Absolutely fight? yeah yeah. So yeah we got the antidotes. Um, hmm. The golem and big 
big nasty guy had a bit of a scrap, we assume. I don't know. We locked we the do. doors. We, we hit him with vines. We locked him. We ran away. Mm. Locked the doors. Because he gave us the keys as well. So we locked every yeah, yeah. single door. <laughs> so it's only a it's only stupid bloody fault then. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, it's because I'm such a charming bastard. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I couldn't believe it. He just went, yeah, I'll cast John Person. Rolls like 23. It's like, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, he must he must be, I'll check the thing. He must be, no, he's he's, he's not immune. Okay. Maybe he's got proficient. No, he's not proficient. <laughs> Fine, what do you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, then we, uh, then we trekked out in the in the snow on our way back to Cerinlia, um, and we came across somebody who turned out to be a female elf. Called Yerdrasil, something y- like that. Yerdrasil Savor. That one. Um, and turns out she's from like 200 odd years in the future. And we we don't really know for certain, but I, I think she's the reason that there's a bit of a temporal shift. Um, and Tom then, then got slightly horny, so we called it a day so he could go and sort himself out. <laughs> yeah. Then we made it back to the camp. Uh, we gave we, we found 20 of the antidotes, like the cures, and we gave 10 to the buyer, and I have 10 in my inventory. Um, and then I think we wrapped up. That was pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're now in back in Serenlia, and uh, you've agreed uh, from the exchange of some magical artifacts to escort Yadar Cell at least as far as Uthadurn, because that's where she thinks she can... Um, start to figure out what exactly happened and how if there's any way at all of fixing this problem so what the source of the issue was you think you know what the source of the problem is you think this was uh, the the giant orrery type table that that um was a representation of the the different planes of existence which seems to have been present at all three um incidents of, of temporal shift so yeah that's where we were. Now you're back in Cerulea. Um We called it there because we didn't want to shift you back across the uh, across the sea uh, without giving you an opportunity to do something here first. And your um, your new druid um, doesn't like ships and boats and water, so you're going to have to figure out that as well before you head back I think to. He said uh, he, I think he said he can knock himself out, right? But yeah, yeah, you're gonna, yeah, you're going to have to figure that out. I presume he just smokes some kind of some kind of herb and just passes <laughs> out. And we just load him on the boat. Gets yield elastic magic mushrooms. <laughs> right. So there you are. Well, I think you've you've summarised it uh, very nicely. <laughs> um, Did Dave listen to any of that? No, he's, Dave, he's just eating. No, he's just eating. No, no, I was eating. <laughs> <laughs> what happened last week then? Right. <laughs> you died, unfortunately. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, I've got better things to do. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, you got fantasy syphilis, and yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It, it goes with the real. It'll go with the real world one. Yeah, over sure. <laughs> we are actually live. I'm just so everyone knows. You, know, <laughs> you just told the internet you've got syphilis. Yeah. <laughs> amongst of us. Mm, amongst other things, yeah. Big, big cancer, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just get enough diseases they fight each other. You don't need an immune system, then, do you? The druid admits to you that he he has a means of of uh, of making the crossing. He's going to do it under duress, but he shall have to do it. Under the guidance of the mushrooms of communing with the hunter. Okay, which you have he had several. Sorry? You have these then? I have these in yeah. my possession, but yeah. once they run out, this is my last trip on a boat until I can source some more. Yeah, he, he had his supply on him when he's uh, yeah. unfortunate. And this is the last happened. of the supply, and these are, these are uh, half a century yeah. old, and <laughs> I don't know what they'll do, so we'll, uh, we'll enjoy the trip together. Well, there are, there are, there are more we as... There, shot, we've got rope, haven't we? Yeah, you've yeah. all got rope, yeah. Yeah, we can tie <clears> it <throat> down. Plenty of rope. <laughs> yeah. If you just wait, we'll just trap him to, to, to the bed. <laughs> to tell I've just realised what I said then. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Basically, uh, 
waiting for the DM to tell us that the, that particular mushroom went extinct in the period between his time and our time. It might be a very rare mushroom, but until your druid goes foraging, you won't be able to... Mm. Yeah, you I, won't know. I reckon I, These are quite I reckon. special mushrooms that could actually be difficult to source again, so just remember that if we do any more boat trips. Tie you down. Fine. Yeah. Right, so you're in, yeah, you're in um, Serenia, you've, you've dealt with the buyer, you've got your money, and you've agreed to escort your, your new... Uh, elf friend to Uthadun, which first step to doing that is getting back to Palbank Village. Hmm. Um, the Remoraz is in dock if you want to go and speak to the captain and uh, book yourself aboard. Uh, before we do yeah. that, I'd mm -hmm. like to make sure that uh, little team killing dwarf bastard gives us all the money that is stolen. Yeah. Because he's, he's got like pockets full of fucking he coins. Here. For gold. He's just clinking on his way to. <laughs> It's like the world's shit as leprechaun. Yeah, I mean, we definitely got, you found like 400 or something gold in that chest. So I think it was 230 gold in that chest. I, I seem to remember right. being a bit more. I, no, <laughs> I, 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 I remember being, being And I'm pretty sure there was a thousand silver that one of you then stole off me. So we're going to divvy out what he's got on. Oh, him. yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, you nicked, all, you nicked it already. Yeah, I do seem to remember something about all that being taken off him and him being stuffed in a chest. Yeah, yeah I, can't remember, yeah, I can't remember who took the silver because I don't have it on my character I, sheet. I don't have any. I think you probably did, uh, Chamney, but maybe you just didn't write it down. Okay, but it, was, it was a thousand silver. Yeah, there was a thousand. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll dish that out now so everyone else gets 200 silver. Oh, okay. Does that include me? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Wait, yeah, free loading. If it comes along, you know, yeah. You, comes you're not path, really used to commerce, but you. <laughs> You know right. that it's going to Remind come Remind me useful. which one's silver. Is it the second one down? SP. Um, yeah. no, I think it goes no. platinum. Oh, that's EP. So it's, it, yeah. it's platinum, gold, silver. No. Platinum, gold, electrum, silver, copper, isn't it? Okay, yeah. so we, I don't have a box for mid, copper. That's exactly weird. On, on the sheet, it goes I, copper, silver. Yeah. It, it, what's weird is the little icon for silver is missing. That's the only yeah, thing on my same, machine. Yeah, but it's, it's if you look really closely, it says SP. SP, yeah. 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 So it goes copper, so silver, really and silver. Really yeah. It's yeah. a triangle. Yeah. yeah okay, so it's cool. 100 two, silver. Yeah, Camden, you've got 1,000 silver two, on. 200. 200, okay. Yeah. And how you many gold? Take 100 if you want, I'll take the rest. So how was many the... gold did we get, Divid? None. I don't know, ask the dwarf. Nah, there was no gold. It was just silver. I mean, I'm fairly certain you just said there was 260 gold. Yeah. I think that's other gold I've collected throughout the... Let's rob the, the dwarf. Well, that's more gold than I actually have on me, so that's... Yeah, therefore, God, yeah. Therefore, yeah. I think that you've... Um, I've only I, I've only got a handful of, of gold, literally. So. I'll say that I have 279 gold, so it seems reasonable that he would have a similar amount. Do you want me to tell you how much gold there was, in case one of you didn't actually pick it up? Yeah. Because you did say you picked it up. Mm. Um, it's not that it's Sal's vault. It was in Feral Sal's chamber, wasn't it? Um, two hundred. So what's Electrum worth? Well, okay, let's just do it. It's two hundred one gold and forty five Electrum. Because I'm getting sick of trying to convert it. So forty five Electrum and two hundred. Yeah, bear in gold. mind, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I haven't got my divvy of that. Yeah, I've got either. I, I don't know. I don't I think Phil Rush. All right, here. let's let's split it out. Forty each. Forty gold each. Well, okay. I have. Uh, to, in fairness, I have plenty of money right now. So, if you want to split that between the rest, so that it doesn't seem like quite such a small amount. So I'm taking forty gold from from um, from the dwarf. If you want to split um, it four ways, like Cammy said, you can get fifty. Yeah, um, that's fine by me. I okay, so <laughs> before before we before we hop on the ship, uh, or before we go and even ask the ship, um, the buyer did he sell anything? Hmm. Now that I have some money, that's actually I an know interesting he's question. The buyer, I get that he's the buyer. Are there any kind of trades people that are uh, like, like traders? No, there aren't. Really? No, there aren't really any traders. They're they're mostly people going out trying to make their fortune and find artifacts. The buyer is there to facilitate the buying of stuff and the shipping it back sure. to Palbank and Uthodurn. You could ask sure. if someone wants to sell you some of their stuff, but well, they're not buying. They're, a bit of a... they're only going to be buying like stuff that's going to be useful for their uh, oh, travels yeah. and their adventures. 
Try and make well, some profit on the way back. But, you know, like, like furs or something. I mean, they they might, but they're, they're mostly after Aorian relics. So they'll be buying adventuring gear if you want to try and sell that, if they don't have any. Yeah. Well, uh, what I wanted to try and buy was a shield, actually. Um, you can ask around if you want to. Hmm. Um, I suppose actually there's a question. Um, is my great axe two-handed? Uh, it's a look. I believe it is, yeah. Because if it's two-handed, then never mind. <laughs> it usually has two attacks, doesn't it? If it's uh... well, it gets to it get. It, I would get to it like level four or five or something like that. I think, but uh, it doesn't actually say. So I don't know. Usually, it will hmm. say if it's two-handed. Do we presume then it's one-handed? Well, I don't know, because you've got a hand axe. <clears throat> so I actually do assume it's two-handed, yeah. Okay, cool. Unless you can uh, find a... Hang on. D and D, great axe. It's fine if it is. I was just I was going to try and min-max my, uh, my AC by trying to find a shield with a good buff. Yes, it is two-handed, yeah. Awesome, cool. Uh, yeah, so if if you wanted to use it, you can't use it one-handed. You can use your hand axe and a shield. Yeah. Okay. The same. Right, so what do you want to do? Go, go and ask about the ship. Okay, so you, you approach the Remoras. Let me get my notes up. Uh... See you, mate. You so... haven't seen for a while. You you see that you see uh, Alred uh, Laura Maris Laura Maris, the captain of the Ramirez, um milling around on the docks, um, and you can see some of some more of the crew just <clears throat> milling around as well, going up and down, uh, loading some some supplies on, looking like they're getting ready to to sail. Oh, big man, what's the crack? Ah, oh, you're back. How did it fare? Yeah, uh, not bad. Got... We got all we needed. It was time to get back, though, to somewhere warmer. Oh, I know yeah. that feeling. I know that feeling. Well, you're you're welcome aboard. We'll uh, we're sailing. <clears throat> we're sailing this afternoon on the high tide, so uh, you've got a few oh, hours perfect. to yourselves. Super. Feel we, free uh, to come aboard. Yeah, we have a companion with us who's uh, going to have to um, avail himself of some remedies to 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 remain unconscious during the trip. But, uh, Not oh, necessarily so. fully unconscious. Are, are, are you there? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm. Know. I'm standing at the edge of the dock, looking intrepid um, and generally a little fearful. Okay. Don't worry, he'll be oh. staying in his cabin all all, all the journey. Ah, oh, you picked up well, a stray, you, you, I see. Okay. Picked up two strays. Yeah, we're also missing someone, but you know. Ah, that's yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, that uh, that that does happen more often than not. Well, it, does when you got a, dwarf on you. it does when you got a magical dwarf who can't control his <laughs> power. Um, um, yes, uh, <laughs> we can absolutely uh, accommodate you. That's that's not a problem. Yeah. Um, if you could just give him a heads up before we before we set sail, so he can consume. His, yes. Uh, no, remedy. that's not a problem. I'll, um, I'll I'll let you. Are we not leaving yet? This afternoon. You just consumed the remedy. Oh, I'm uh, starting a little early. <laughs> well, the, that's, the, fine. The, that's fine. That's fine. Character. I hope they remove really magic mushrooms. Take board. Yeah. Well, uh, yes. Uh, after you. Brilliant. Let me. Oh no! This journey back is going to be mostly dry, isn't it? Because we're not going to be able to get top up our, our supplies of alcohol. Don't worry. I've got four gallons of mead. Yeah. Oh, that, starting to feel a bit thing. weird. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else seeing what I'm seeing? I love you, Tom. <laughs> In a manly way. Ooh. Obviously. The water okay. mark is explaining everything now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. Know. Yay, <laughs> visual gags. Cheap and visual. So, yeah, the, the ship is yours if you want to go and um, secure Tom or do whatever yeah, you we're like. Gonna... We're going to put him in the back room here. So we're going to put him in that room. Oh, so, Tom, do you want to move your avatar over here? Where is my avatar? I'm looking for it. There are none currently on there. Oh, they're not okay. on there, yeah. 
As soon as Ian gives us a chance, move your avatar there, and we'll strike. Oh, can you not drag yourself on there? Uh, I'll, I'll, try. I'll um, I'll drop it. Oh no, no, you're dead. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've carried his corpse all this way. Yeah. <laughs> do a weekend of Bernice. Yeah. Um, there you go. So all right, cool. where where are you leading me? Uh, to the back room, just here. Uh, this bed here. Um, okay. So I, I'd like to just have a quick ch chat to the captain and ask whether there's a, uh, a single room that's available that's unoccupied presently? Uh, we don't have any passengers currently booked in to come back. Everyone's going off on an adventure, so uh, other than the crew, the, the, the ship is yours. I'm just saying I'm going to be in this room. I, I'm not going to be with the hippie yet. Uh, uh... <laughs> says, as, as long as you remain off the lower deck, uh, the lower I'm deck is the crew quarters, and obviously oh, the, the captain's oh, wow. deck is on the upper deck. <laughs> the currents. <laughs> uh, so okay, I'll say uh, uh, I'll head to the to, to the bottom deck and, and kind of take some kind of isolation in this in this room. Um, I think we we discussed kind of. Um, that's unfortunately that's the first officer's room. That that's his All right, room. Well, I chuck him out of his room. <laughs> <laughs> that's your friend. Um, that's his room. Okay. Oh, it's my. It's the guy I don't like. Yeah, that's Ozzy's <laughs> room. Yeah. Okay, so I definitely take that room and I block. I barricade the door shut. Uh, the door's locked. You go to go in and the door's locked. Oh. Uh, dude, 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 you really don't want to piss off the first officer off. Uh, we're about to go on a really long ship. Okay, yeah. this music's really loud. Yeah, the music's a bit. <laughs> Is it? Um, there we go. Okay, which of which of these solitary rooms is is. Dude, dude, you could, we got four rooms here for uh, five of us. All right, I will go, I'll do this one at the back. I'm just going to stay in there. No, 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 that's the cruise ones. You no, see the, where I'm Yeah, pointing. the cruise, cruise on the lower deck, so you're going to want to be on the middle deck. Right, That's okay. three there. Uh, this one, at the front. Oh, I'm uh, going to stay yeah, in the... Yeah, that's fine. On the middle deck. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm going to go in the same room as your Dassel. Go on. Oh, yeah, I'm not <laughs> um, Bard's going to Bard. Yeah, cool. I, and she's then going to move room, room, rooms. I, I can see this here where you following around like a little sort of puppy dog. Uh, yes, um, she's, she's uh, not very impressed. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not used to sharing. I, I, I'll be taking room to myself, thank you. Oh, yeah, I, I can move. You go into this one. I, I'll bunk uh, up with the uh, murderous dwarf. White Dane. <laughs> thank you very much. That's, that's very Risky. kind of you. See, now that's the way you do it. Cash charm. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, I mean, you've got a, an hour or so before the ship's due to set sail. Is there anything you want to do? Tom is, uh, sorry, uh, again, I've not even bothered learning your name yet. Uh, Don't bother. Are you right? Oh, Sindarn? Sindarn, yeah. He's, um, he's currently mellowing out in his room. And if you're going to make sure he's, he's okay, or he's going to make him too. Yeah. Uh, I, shall I shall soon be communing with the hunter. Okay. Yeah, leaving in cool. peace. Um, there's yes. nothing we can buy okay. anyway to make the Yeah, just, just surround him with pillows and just leave him alone. Right. Yeah. Turn so, the light, turn so, the light down. Jeff, you, you, you pop in to see how he's doing. Um, Sindan, as, as yeah. Jeff comes in, you, currently everything's sort of bleeding and all going a bit funky. It's a feeling that you recognise as you as your reality freezes. <laughs> yep, that's that's definite reality freeze. Yeah. Super effective. Yeah. You there? Thank you, Alpacan.com. Be careful, guys. This is bad country. Oh, God, he's doing a visual <laughs> gag, and he's... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, can, you can see everything sort of wobbling, and you see Jeff come in, and, and he's like, you all right, fella? Uh... He looks a little strange. Excuse me while his, I find my right trip. <laughs> his, his face seems to be shifting between what you expect, what you are used to being his normal face, and hard cutting into like a maniacal grin, like Joker style, and then cutting out, and uh, and now it's it's he's crying and and Gentlemen, he's The sea is full of flying turtles. 
and you can see his, real. His, his face real. shifting between these. I am in communication with the hunter. Good night, sweet prince. So and he tells me our journey will be long and full of peril. I think we, we, we should lock the door. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the big like one. They get surrounded everywhere. By pillows, surrounded by pillows. Blot out the torches and just leave him some snacks and shut the door. And a bucket. <laughs> and a well, bucket. I have supplies, gentlemen. Berries? I have Peruvian marching crystals. <laughs> None of you Nepalese have space dust. Peruvian Join me. Join me. Oh, You've oh, never God. heard of it. Oh, yeah. Instantly demonetized. I've got enough morning glory <laughs> seeds to launch a buffalo into space. So why you don't know what a course. buffalo is either. Finally, the breath. <laughs> For the gods! Yeah, definitely gone full McCaffrey here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right off the I defense. have one left. Would anyone <laughs> like one? No, you keep it to yourself. Absolutely not. I'm, I'm good, thanks, dude. <laughs> you, so, you'll need it for later. Um, while this is taking place, um, Camney kind of is, is in, the, in front of the ship reflecting on uh, <laughs> the loss of, of our dear cleric. What do you mean he's having um, a dump? <laughs> no, 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 definitely. <laughs> it's a very somber moment, Devil. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah, reflecting on kind of the loss of, of, of the dear cleric. You know, the party had only been together for so for a short time, but still had some effect. And I think and, uh, Camney hadn't really taken, taken into account just how it was affecting him. And uh, so he had taken Thokal's holy symbol and, and his prayer book, and he's been kind of meditating, quietly communing. And um, as as his uh, connection with the with the afterlife, which is kind of part of the the, the barbarian path, uh, begins to grow, he develops uh, a connection with the spectral uh, entity of Thogul, who now will be uh, a party to his to his combat going forth. Um, and yeah, so as part of Barbarian level three, you get ancestral protectors, and uh, um, the spectral guardian is going to be Thogol. Well, you, you currently really... you currently do not know who your spectral guardians are going to be. That's you, you've sure. you've you've come to this. You've grown as a character um, after Tom leaves and fucks my cameras up. So I'll transition to another scene quickly. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Right, you've grown as get a character, and, and you recognise that. Um, that you have changed, but you currently don't know how you've changed or how that's going to to manifest yeah. itself. And that will you will you will find that. Sure. And you never know; you, you might get help from. from you might not be so good at all. You might not but, be so good. Uh, I sincerely hope it is, just because I want it, I want a, a visual aid every time I rip the dwarf about mm. the fact he killed the cleric. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. The app that I was using to do the special effects is obviously, it's got a <laughs> severe memory leak and it looks like it's crashed. Uh, you may have to give me two seconds while okay. I reboot. Okay. All right. Talk amongst yourselves. <sighs> Visual gag and it failed. I know. Yeah. yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Never do a sorry. live demo. Never no, live I know. Demo. Yeah, damn yeah. straight. No, oh. Never do visual gags. Everything froze yeah. then. Popcorn. <laughs> what? Wait, yeah. You got enough popcorn there? Well, you've got to be a big bucket for the visual gag. That's yeah, I know. Players are getting up to now. Oh, no. <sighs> is, it, is it sweet or salty? It's both. Here we go. Oh, sweet and salty. It's sweet best. and salty. You never know. Heresy. It's a surprise. It's a salty surprise. <laughs> no, I am going to have to reboot. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Apologies. <laughs> a salty surprise does not sound. <laughs> Appetizing. <laughs> well, it depends. Yeah, people pay good money for that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, not me. I'm, I'm just thinking. Did you get it for free? Yeah. <laughs> Beat me to it. <laughs> just thinking of Steel Panther now. <laughs> <sighs> yes. Unfortunately, their music is copyright protected, so we can't put any Steel Panther <laughs> on the stream. No, uh, but but you know. There was what about third-party performances? Oh yeah, if you want to do your own rendition of a Steel Panther classic, if if that's what you we want to put for your musical repertoire, Jeff. 
if you want to blast out some Steel Panther. So yes. much love on yeah, her yeah. face. <laughs> Has he finished? Good move, Dave. That's what she said. <laughs> uh. I accidentally turned down my volume when I did that. Right. So, I mean, um, uh, what's his face? Sindan is going to be pretty mellow. You, you, you might, I don't know if you want to check in on him occasionally on the voyage. It's going to take you a few days. But, yeah, make sure he hasn't killed himself. But if there's anything you want to do in particular, um, let me know. Uh, I'm going to play dice with the uh, crew because I'm sure they'll be playing dice. And I'm okay. sure, you know, there should, needs to be some interest in the gambling. I'm, I'm going to give... Uh, and I'll make sure I win. I'm going to give he's, a barbarian friend, I'm a ranger friend, a guy on the mead each. He's, because he, they're lovely guys. And then I'm going to look at the dwarf in the eyes and go, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pandak, you, you seem to be getting a, a sense that the rest of the, the, the team aren't quite happy with the performance in I, Salzabold. I'm just I'm just super glad that they're being really subtle about it. Yeah. <laughs> they're not making yeah. you feel bad. They're not making you feel bad. I'm just going to have a, have a nap. Okay. Uh, um, uh, when, when I say I'm going to win against the uh, crew, I mean basically make sure that I ultimately profit, but the crew don't, you know, do good gamesmanship. So occasionally the crew them. win, you know. <laughs> Poorly paid okay. deck. Just, so, <laughs> just taking the last of the scraps. Can, so can you give me a slight of hand check, please? And now this is where the dice fail. Yes. What have you just been broke? Where a great oh. many characters get caught. Okay. Well, you... Oh, I'm an expert at this, so therefore my dice will now roll a natural one. You do have expertise at the end now. Um, yeah, you you spend a couple of hours just after you uh, after the the ship leaves, playing dice with the crew, and and you do come out on top to the uh, to the tune of um, fifteen silver pieces. Yay! And you're fairly sure that your um gamesmanship was not noticed. Okay, that's good. Um, and also it, it, it was a very friendly game. Um, they weren't betting big money. It was only only silvers. But yeah, you came up 15 silver pieces. I, I'll make sure I talk with them as well. You know, be chatty. See if I can find out anything interesting on the way back. You know, if okay. they know anything. Um, what kind of things are you going to ask about? Um, you know how. No, actually. Um, how the journey's round, anybody interesting they've had on board, that sort of thing. Well, honestly, friend, yeah, you're probably the you're, you're the last people we had on. No one's really come from Pale Bank. No one's going back to Pale Bank. It's it's all been pretty boring. We're just we're just moving moving cargo back and forth at the moment. Um, no. It's not been particularly exciting. We had that incident when when oddly when you were last here, where we saw those odd odd things off in the in the water but no yeah, saw them again we've we've no we, we tried to keep clear of that area anyway but no nothing really urge has still been an arsehole uh, and the other go yeah twat <laughs> yeah i get the idea he always is yeah well you know, he looks after it. the money but he's a bit of a he's a bit of a twat but you know don't don't tell him we said that <laughs> don't worry my, my lips are sealed yeah. Okay. Did anyone hear about those uh, two dwarves that went where? Um, they weren't in Cerinlia when you returned. Mm. So, Shame not. Yeah, so you don't know. You, they clearly left after you uh, after you went adventuring, but you never saw them, and they're not on the ship. It's only you, your Darcel, and the crew on the ship at the moment. And your Darcel is keeping to herself. She's in her room, and she's uh, going through her books. Are we still in bad country? What are you doing, Camney? Because last time you were, uh, you posted up on deck. So are you still staying I'm meditating in your room at the moment? Communing. Communing. Okay. Like really ineffectively as well, because like I obviously have no connection to God. I have no connection really to the spirit. So I'm just sat there with a book <laughs> and then normally symbol. Yeah. Just thinking really hard. <laughs> so the hammer is it? It's 
it's a forge hammer. It's not a weapon, but it was used but, as a weapon, and it has so in, I didn't, embossed I didn't on take the. Take his hammer. I took his his uh, his holy symbol. His holy symbol was his a, hammer. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah, it's his holy symbol was his hammer. Inventory. Okay, and his inventory yeah. had a holy symbol and a hammer. That's right. Like, okay. okay. No, his, his holy symbol was his hammer, and it's a forge hammer um, for forging metal, and um, and uh, it has a a symbol embossed into the metal on the head of the hammer, and it's a, a okay. cog uh, a fo with four spokes in the middle of it. Okay. Um, and, you, and you see that... that motif also repeated on his prayer book. Uh oh, okay. he's got out the bath salts. <laughs> while we're while we're sailing, can I raise the fact that I was meant to we were meant to roll at the start of this for my level? Yeah, upgrade. you were actually. So roll. Uh, let me just check. It was a D six, wasn't it? Ah, uh, don't roll for him. No, I'm not uh, going to. I'm going to wait for him to roll, but I want to, I want to check what it is. Yeah. Um, One. Oops, just roll. Fifty is unhackable. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a D. Oh, yeah, okay. it was one yeah, D6. So, one D6. So, yeah, roll me a D6, please. Yeah, okay. So, four plus your con modifier. So, that's. Not, it's actually you got quite a high con modifier, don't you? Because you're you're a dwarf. He's a dwarf. I, I have no idea. Uh, you've got a two modifier. It's the number so of six. Uh, constitution. So uh, you are up to twenty. Sure. There we go. Thank you. Cool. Right, right. I'm going to go up on deck and see what's going on. So am I. Okay. Let's go upstairs. You're going wandering. Okay. So. Uh, Pandak, you go up on deck as the music uh, music stops. Where are the stairs? So you both go up onto the onto the upper deck. Uh, Pandak, you're just gazing out to sea, and and um, Sindan is just stumbles up the stairs in a sort of. You're not entirely sure if you know if he knows where he is, but he he, he walks up on deck. Um, don't let him don't let him go on the, on the top deck. Sindan, it, it's. <laughs> I'm holding this on to the a, mast. This is a very this strange. Is a tree. This is a very strange tree. forest, and this is a very strange tree. It's not. It's not like tree. the trees you're used to, and it seems tree. to be moving. You notice a dwarf <laughs> off on the edge of this clearing that you're in, um, looking over, uh, over into. You're not quite sure what. Uh, as he Hello, turns to you, person. Hello. You notice. You notice that his hands are up to his elbows, covered in blood, Ooh. and it's dripping onto the floor. Bad trip, bad trip. Ooh. And you also notice a very slight purple haze, sort of <gasps> collecting and Jimmy, flowing. Jimmy, Jimmy, is that you? <laughs> Just a really slight haze. And as you watch, off into the distance, this, this haze seems to go on forever. And in the distance, you occasionally see it condense into what looks like it could be a figure, a shape. And Ooh, then it just... Portents and signs. And it just disappears. And this, and this goes on. Hello. You appear to be staring at me, you massive weirdo. You're Ooh. covered in blood. Blood! <laughs> Should we should we take you back back to your room, old man? Oh, run away from the dude! Run away from the little man! Run away from the little man! Ah! Ah! Right, where are you going? You're running back downstairs. Away. Back downstairs! Okay. Back downstairs! Are you, are you running downstairs? Okay. As you run downstairs, we have Jack C. Park. do I do I hear this ruckus? Uh, yeah. no, not really. They're not making that much of a noise. You hear some some thumps as I mean, uh, he is yelling, "Run away from the little man!" <laughs> okay, you 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 can hear. Some raised voices and some thumping of feet as someone runs down the stairs. Um, you okay. notice um, as you make your way down this down this hole in the forest, Sindan, that there's there's a, a young elven girl um, sitting at the, sitting at one of these tables as you run down. Um, she oh she's not there anymore. She's gone. Oh. oh. 
Oh, wait, Hello? no, she's, she's come back again. She's faded back in. Ooh. And, no, oh, she's, she's gone again. And you notice this same purple haze is, is filling this, this cavern you're in at the moment. The same one you saw upstairs, just wafting and moving around the room. And that same figure occasionally just condenses and then... Are you okay? Silent Hill shit. Mm. Why? Why we? You, you, you keep fading in and out. Okay. So I, I'm assuming these are the mushrooms everyone told me about. Are you? Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling fine, but you, you don't seem to be all there. Are you all there? I believe I am. Although. And who? Uh, the There's a little invade. man upstairs, covered in blood. Did you see him? No. Um, oh. I'm... And he farted a purple mist across the sea. Oh. Okay. This the mushrooms. Okay. Um, yes, I'm. I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll he'll be fine. Why don't you go and have I... a lie down? Where Where do I like? Can I lie down here? Uh, Ooh. Yes. Ooh. I'm, hello. I'm sure hello. You... Yes. You You have a lie down here. I'm. I'm I'm going to I'm going to go in the yes. And then oh, I'll follow goes you. Goes into a room and shuts the door. Hello, hello. You, oh, you, you're somebody I recognize. Hello. You get, you get lost in the woods, but you do find a clearing. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Sinan's just wandered into your room, devil. Hello. <clears throat> There's a little man covered in blood upstairs, in the forest with the a tree. Man covered in blood. Yes! Who purple? Who farts purple? Okay... It's a sign! It's a sign! Why you... don't you show me? Yeah, No! So... Ooh, you have He's... to hold me! You... Devil, you notice, just... He doesn't seem... Like... He knows what he is. He's... He keeps... Shifting and changing very subtly. Just subtle changes, as if he's... Th doing one thing one second and then in a completely different pose the next second it's it's quite subtle but yeah okay be weird um there's a woman who keeps fading in and out right i think it's time for you to go back to bed and, and oh. I'll try and lead him into his room Fair enough. I'll I'll pass out for a couple of hours. Okay. You you put him you put him to bed. I put he him keeps to bed and muttering I... about the yeah. the bloody man and the and the purple mist. I'm gonna make sure he's got his bucket and his food, and then I'm gonna sort of. I think I'm tempted to lock him in, but no. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna lock him in. You're gonna lock. Uh, well, you're gonna go and find the captain and ask him ask for ask for a key. Uh, I don't normally need that. You're gonna, you're gonna yeah, I mean, lock pick so and shut. Lock <laughs> okay, just reverse just, lock pick. Yeah, just um, yeah, give me a, a thieves tool check. If you click on it in your um, in your couch sheet, you should do the roll automatically. There we go. Yeah, you quite easily uh, manipulate the lock from the outside and lock his door. It's quicker than trying to find the captain. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> But also he's, he's, got not he's got mm. food, he's got water, he'll be fine. It's not gonna follow. I can make my own berries. Mm. <laughs> oh no. He's gonna become a scat much, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he can actually make his own berries and you might be you might be grateful I... to stuff them in your mouth and, uh, on occasion. Yeah. Ew. Yes. Eat my berries. <laughs> Plums for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it, it's approaching uh, evening now, uh, and the crew are, are laying out some food in the uh, in the eating area. If you want to go and yep. have anything, time for lard. Mm. Pie time. Oh, good pie. Okay, so as Pandak, as you make your way in with the uh, with Dabble, you notice Yudasal is is in there currently uh, eating some eating some rations by herself. Hello, boats, eh? Yes, boats. Uh, can't say I've can't say I've been on one before. It's uh, yeah, not not the most exciting. Although, given what's gone on, 
being isolated away from the world seems to be probably the best thing I could be doing about now. It's quiet, but it'll be over soon. It's only a few days. Mm. It's what comes next that's going to be interesting, I think. What have, you, have we worked out what we need to do next? Is I need to get to Uthodurn. This is the closest place around here that there might be some knowledge that I can access to try and get a handle on what's happened. I, I want to do the, the, the absolute minimum I can before we get there because I, 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 I may have already changed too much just by talking to you, just by being here. So I'm, I'm trying to have the, the smallest impact I can before I can figure out what's happened. That, that's, my, that's my goal. Okay, that makes sense. So if you can get me to Uthodurn safely, um, at that point, you can you're no, no longer beholden to me. You can go and do what you wish, um, but uh, then I will I will try and figure out what's happening. I'm not sure my Je my friend Jeff feels beholden to you. He looks very pally. I'm pally of everyone, man. Yeah, I'm not like a... I'm not like the sort of guy who goes around and uh, you know burns your mates alive. Jesus, <laughs> what kind of monster is that? <laughs> Uh, you notice Thokal is um, he's not here. No one's bothered to actually go and get him. Is anyone going to go and open the door? And it's not Thokal, it's Sindon. Oh, oh yeah, Sindon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not yeah. Oh, no, he's got yeah. he's got food in his room. He's got his berries. He's fine. Okay, you put a bucket of uh, dry dry food in his room, and okay. Fine. Yeah. And he's got a, he's got a poo bucket as well, so you know yeah. he's covered in all aspects. So, Camney, you hear a knocking at the door. I open the door. I make my meditative state and yeah. open the door. And that is there. Hi, Camney. Food, come get it. <laughs> come Would get it. Follow me. Only good okay. things can happen. I follow the dwarf. Okay. okay. You, you see a couple of the, the dwarf crew, but uh, no one else. So, <laughs> well, this is a nice awkward dinner, isn't it? Can mm. Yeah, so, I think you 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 guys might have might have some stuff to work through. I'm I'm I I've stated myself. I'm going to go back to my quarters. Um, see you tomorrow, I suppose. And yeah. Yeah. So, walks out. so uh, anybody kill any close friends recently? <laughs> Uh, not today. I'm, I'm holding it. I'm, 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 I'm trying my best not to, but you know. Right, guys. What is it going to take for you to let me work? <laughs> I've got not a lot, but we need to get past this as a team. Or are you just going to ditch me at Pearlbank Village and run off? <laughs> Somebody we tossed you overboard. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Panda. No, actually, having 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 meditated on it for a while, Camney's kind of bitterness and kind of like um, upset over the whole matter seems to have, have quelled, and he uh, he embraces the dwarf. All right. Does the dwarf, does the dwarf allow him to embrace him, or do I need to do a <laughs> skill check? No, no, no. no. Camney, Camney approaches you now with his arms out wide. Whoa, big fella, what are you gonna do? Whoa. I make to hug you, not to, like, not to kill you. <laughs> not to crush you. <laughs> yeah, you. You don't feel threatened. He's a, he's a big fella, and you're a little fella. You're gonna try and pick him up and give him a hug. Because he's, yeah. he's, he's quite small, a lot smaller than yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pick, call I pick him up. I pick up the dwarf and I hug the dwarf. Okay. You've now, your face is now pressed up against the chest of this Goliath. Slab of meat right in your nose. I have a sniff. Look up. <laughs> it's surprisingly clean. Yeah, it's a, not an unpleasant smell. Mm, Roll an arousal check. <laughs> it's, it's, it's our Manny from in. Yeah. Other after. Stop looking, available. Phil. There's not an arousal check. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're we're good then, boy. 
family considers this beef quashed. Awesome. Uh, I will just mock you for this for the end end of time. <laughs> but, you know, I've got no personal beef. I only knew the guy for a week or two, so I don't care. But you know, try set me on fire, and I will cut your balls off and make you eat them. <laughs> Fair enough. Come at me with any any aggro you got me and my pal to deal with. Ah, oh, could be in to do the damage for you, mate. So you know, <laughs> don't don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, that's what I'm scared of. A singing bard. <laughs> Have you heard some of the uh the, the deft verbiage that is a uh, that's been coming out of your bard recently? It, it, it's quite you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't write him off. Okay, mate, I'm overpowered now. <laughs> Hit level three. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, bards get get kinda crazy <laughs> at some at, at this point. Um, right. Yep. So you, you okay, plonked him down back. You plonk him back on his feet now, and you regains his balance. I take a seat and uh, just start shoveling some food in my mouth. Okay. You get through about two or three persons worth of rations. <laughs> Strong. Yep. Gains. Got to get them gains. Got to get them gains. Yeah. It's all about the protein. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, is anyone else doing anything, or are you finishing up and uh, retiring for the evening? I think it's finish up and retire for the evening. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to tune my loot in my room. Okay. You're going to what? I'm going to tune my loot. <laughs> <laughs> you... Can I stay with you? I yeah, I, I, I go into the room with the, with the hammocks in it. <laughs> yeah, you, you seem to remember um, Thokal telling you that, that that will make you go blind. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. My palms are hairy enough. So. Yeah, yeah. He, he was very, very clear on that. He seemed to take it as a, as a <laughs> personal affront. Okay, so you all settle down for the evening. Um, Camly, you you drift off to sleep, and to begin with, the night is is fairly fairly calm and unsettled, but you do find yourself starting to dream you are back home back up in the mountains in the in the heights of the Flotket Alps in the grain wildlands and you can see just in the short distance a, a group of of Goliaths um, three children and an adult walking through the Alps um, they, they don't seem to see you Suddenly, before you realise it, from behind you, a, a giant yeti runs past, completely ignoring you, and starts barreling towards the, the group, the Goliaths. You shout to warn them, but they don't hear you. The adult is, is acting as, as a lookout for the group. He, he clearly knows that this is a dangerous area to be in, and, and he notices the yeti as he is, as he approaches the group, and he screams at the children to run home. The children start to to break and run off into the into the the, the, the tree line. Unfortunately, the yeti is just too fast and too powerful. He barrels into the adult, knocking him to the floor, and then starts wailing on him on two three just pummeling him the adult has, has has had no chance to respond the yeti picks up the the body of this adult it's only he's only been waiting on him for a, maybe two or three seconds and he's already just bleeding out of cuts and his arms and legs are, are pointed in unnatural directions the yeti pulls his arm back and throws the body towards the children it actually goes over their heads and lands in their path. They all fall to the floor, uh, scared out of their minds, as their 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 former guardian is now a broken and bloody mess in front of them. The yeti lets out a fearsome roar, and then slowly starts to advance on the frightened children. One of the children gets up and goes over to the body of the the adult and p 
pulls his sword out of his sheath. He turns around, screams, and runs directly at the Yeti. The Yeti was not expecting this. As the child runs up, this is a child that is maybe 11, 12 years old, and he's carving at the Yeti's legs, and the Yeti just can't can't get a, uh, a hold on him. He's diving left and right, just bang, bang, knees, Achilles heel, thigh. He ducks under the Yeti's legs, turns around and jumps and grabs hold of the fur on the Yeti's back. And he starts climbing up. One, two, three. As the Yeti's flailing left and right, trying to, trying to get hold of the thing that's on his back. As he makes it to the top, of the yeti he reverses his grip on the short sword and drives it down in between the neck and the shoulder of the yeti the yeti collapses to his knees and then falls forward dead the youngster pulls the sword out and the scene starts to fade and as the scene fades the image of the child over this defeated yeti turns black and almost like a drawing and this drawing you see starts to move towards you slowly at first but then faster and faster and faster eventually this image strikes you in the chest and you feel a burning sensation as if this image is now branding itself onto you and then everything fades to black. And you awaken immediately. And it's pitch black in the cabin. Well, fuck. And you didn't even eat the mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> I got a spare one. <laughs> you can feel like your skin feels warm on your chest, but you look down at it and it, there's no marks. There's no marks at all, but you can feel that warmth where the where this thing hit you. Awesome. Fucking great. Like okay. <laughs> I, does, I, I mean does it you know presumably it doesn't feel damaging? No, you know? you're not in pain, it just feels warm. I I hear Camney waking up and stomping around. And I kind of wake up. Everything all right, champ? I think so. Do you want to go to the deck, get some air? Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Come on then. Tell me all about it on the walk. Okay, so, so yeah, you, you make a, you make your way up to the to the uh, the top deck. Yeah, I uh, I recount my uh, my story to the dwarf. Count the dream. Yeah. What I can remember of it. S Oh shit, right. Okay, well that sounds less fun than it could have been. I mean, um, so do, do I, do, like, um, do I have some kind of knowledge of, like, this, uh, and the nature of ancestral guardianship, like that kind of, have Give I ever seen Give me religion it in... check. <laughs> um, <clears throat> negative one to religion. <laughs> oh, I know. You have I don't know. Anything. You don't know like, anything. No, <laughs> not a single thing. Like, what, what do you think this could mean, Camney? Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, best guess, it was whatever was in that meal. Yeah, I think the rations have gone a bit, gone a bit off. Maybe, uh, maybe Sindan cross-contaminated like all. <laughs> yeah, potentially Sindan got into the rations and was maybe, you know, <laughs> sharing some of his... Uh, yeah, I spiked you all. <laughs> so, while you're talking, you notice that um, Urz is also on deck, but he's on, he's on the rear deck, and he's actually right at the back of the ship, looking outwards to the rear. Hey, Camney, should we go and uh, uh, I take that way? Piss off your mate. I mean, yeah. 
<laughs> much that seems much. like a fantastic way to spend the evening. <laughs> Go on then. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we make our way over. Um, okay. Kind of... could, could you both give me a perception check, please? Sure. Right, Pandak, as, as as you approach, you 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 hear that Urz was muttering something. Uh, but as he notices you approaching, he turns around and goes, "Good evening. I did not expect to see you up. I thought you were thought you were asleep. Can I help what you, you at all? Looking after oh, the yeah. ship. We we keep didn't an eye expect out. him to be muttering. Any what are you what are you chatting about? When we when we were walking over, was he looking off the stern? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's so back like, to you, and he was. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I mean, the ship's going that way. So I don't know how you were looking after it, looking behind the ship. Well, you know, you have to keep a lookout. Yes. And what did you see? Nothing. Nothing is going on. Suspicious. Oh. Why are we muttering? You know, it gets lonely, you end up talking to yourself occasionally. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, is there? Mm, there is when it's a, when it becomes an incantation. I mean, how can we trust you here? Um, give me an insight check. <laughs> you, you don't think it was... A, you can't say whether it was an incantation or not. You just heard him saying something. You don't know what it was. You can't tell anything about it. Okay. Uh, I look over at Camney. Camney, do you want to chuck him off? Will that help? <laughs> uh, excuse me? Well, you see, my friend here is a little bit sad. He had a bit of a bad dream, so I'm thinking of ways to cheer him up. I feel <laughs> chucking you off the back might do just that. I will assume that you are joking, Master Dwarf. Sure. I don't have a reputation. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay. He starts to move away I, from the, uh, I'd the, like, the ship I, I, now. I'd like to kind of engage him. Like, we, we, I think we got off on, on the wrong foot. Mm. Uh, yes. I mean, yeah, okay. So I think we got off on the wrong foot. And uh, I, think we could, I think we could be good friends. And... Uh, I think, um, yeah. I mean, you 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 seemed to be a little curious, standing facing the back of the ship, looking the wrong way, and I'm just curious if uh, if there's anything you saw that you weren't sharing with us. I saw uh, nothing. Can I try and persuade him to kind of, or can I actually? Um... I, I having having not gotten nowhere, I look at the why not? And I, I threatened to throw him overboard. Uh give me an intimidation check. Yeah. One. Uh twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How exactly are you threatening to throw him overboard? <laughs> uh, I grab him by his legs and I hang him over the side of the ship. Okay. So you go to grab him and he reacts and Put his hands up to shove you away. Um, roll initiative. That's only for those two, right? Yeah, yeah the rest of you are asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Ah, shit. I didn't select myself. Who goes first? I look over at me. What have you done? What? Are... <laughs> I mean, you started it. You told him I'd threat to. I was joking, boy. I was joking. Okay, so he will in fact go first. Uh, between yourself, we'll say you two act together, but the but Urs gets to go first. So he shoves you back, and he draws a uh, a battle axe from his back. Do you this really want to? Bad idea. Do you really want to do this, friend? Uh, no, not really. I guess it's a fucking terrible idea. This is a terrible. Yeah, look at Camney, and we sort of slowly back away. Yeah, I mean, 
you, you can see he's visibly angry with you. Could, should we should we run get the others, just in case? Uh, uh, fuck! This is such a terrible idea. I don't know why we did this. <laughs> I blame so the dwarf. He, he's he, I, he's I, standing he, in front he, of you with his battle axe raised. He's not attacked you yet. He's not attacked. He's not attacked you okay. yet, but he's ready. He's ready to attack. Okay, I'd like I'd like to try and de-escalate. I'm like, well, we're just we were just we're just joking. We're just messing around, you know. It's this is how we this is how we this is how we interact. I mean, he killed one of our party members the other day, and we're still hanging around with him. It's just it's just the thing we do. Just joke with your mouth, friend, not with your hands. Well, yeah, okay. I'm I'm not very funny. That's the problem. Clearly, it's way funnier to toss people over the sides of boats. What we've got a bard for? He's he's fucking hilarious. Then That's I, why we bring him. I suggest you find your bard. You are not going to have a good time attempting to throw me off this ship. Throwing the captain okay. off the boat and you're not going to have a good time, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'd like to, yeah, we'll, we'll just whistle loudly and back the fuck up. <laughs> okay, he's, he stays where he is. He's still got his axe in hand, but he's not following you. I look at the dwarf and I'm like, that was your fault. No, I disagree. I was just joking. You were the one who picked him up. Come on. Tried to pick him up. Don't get me wrong, I have burning hands ready, but I wasn't. Which one of you is Laurel and which one is Hardy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Panda, just a GM, a GM note. You can ready one more spell now. So you can memorize one more spell now. So um, at the end uh, of this okay. sleep, you can, uh, you can ready one more spell. Thank you. Um, yeah, I guess we we probably just head back, back down, stairs. Okay. Um, I think in all the. Uh, you still feel a bit shaken from this this dream that you had, and the yeah, adrenaline from this almost fight is is bringing back the memories of that fight with the yeti. Yeah, I think we're just going to chill in there, and uh, I'll share my gallon of meat with the with the dwarf. Okay. So everyone I, else is asleep at this point. But. I'd like to delve deeper into my trip and uh, possibly discover if there's meaning behind the purple purple mist shape. Um, okay. Uh, roll me an insight check. Okay. So the, you're, you're, you're tripping away in your room this forest that you're in is is very strange, but at Ooh. least it's a forest and not a boat. You don't mm. know how you would cope if you were out without the trees and without the, the grass and, and the plants. You remember the purple from earlier, and it you didn't feel comfortable with it. It felt unnatural. It felt almost, yes, it felt unnatural is what it felt like. Okay. It wasn't of nature. Do I see it as dark and portentous, perhaps? You see it as unnatural. Okay. An imbalance. Yes. Definitely okay. definitely an, an imbalance in something. Okay. So, so all right. That's fine. Yeah. I, I drift back into a state of semi-comatoseness. I okay. shall dwell on this. Some further strange coloured creatures are... Are dancing through your dreams and they're all very Yay! happy. And Hello, happy fairies. You're glad to be back with your uh, your forest your forest friends. I get uh, basically I'm spamming druid craft and basically causing little flowers and stuff to pop up around the room to make it look a little bit more foresty. Okay, that'll be a nice surprise for ever. Wake you up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the night passes. Unless anyone else wants to go off any. Uh, on any nighttime excursions? No. no. Okay, so you wake up the next morning. Um, who, who's going to find Thokal? Uh, Sindan. I'll check on him anyway. Just okay. to make sure he hasn't um, filled up his bucket. Pour one out, oh. Thokal. <laughs> he did lock the door, so the only person who can catch her get in. Yeah, so, so okay. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that, well, you, you open the lock, it, it's, it's not a challenge for you, and you open yeah. the door and you're surprised to find 
the room has got daisies sprouting out of the walls, out of the ceiling. It smells slightly of skunk. <laughs> yeah, it's not, a, it's not a pleasant smell. It's not what you'd expect from a field of wildflowers, but there's no. daisies everywhere. <laughs> but he can't open a window. No. Yeah, no windows. Hello, nice man. Have you come to the forest to talk to the trees? I'm just here to make sure you're alive. I'm happy with the trees. Uh, check his food. Has he got enough food still? I have berries! He hasn't, he hasn't touched his food. He's he can make his own food. Berries! Well, he berries! Can, he, can, he can handle it himself. Would you like a berry? No, he offers you a handful of berries. Take the berries. Okay. Have a berry! I, berry. I, give him half a, I give him half the berries and shove the other five in my mouth. Okay. Okay, I'll have a couple of berries. What's the they're, worst that can happen? They're really nice, really good berries. You are, you've are you never tasted anything quite so sweet and invigorating as these as these berries. Cool. You can, cool. You can feel it uh, filling you with positive energy. They, they're, they're very good berries. Are you feeling are you okay? I'm happy. I've Shall been speaking to the feet? hunter. Okay. Are we still in bad country? Yes. Right, I'm going to leave you in here, so I'm going to go out and close the door. I won't lock it this time. Okay. So you you make your way into the uh, into the dining area, and you you find that everyone else is currently in there as well. Yeah. Having having breakfast. Love I've just had mine. Yeah. The last thing you saw was uh, Sindan nibbling on a on a um a daisy. So guys, Kamni, Kamni's got something to confess. What'd you do? Uh, the the dwarf attacked the first mate. Whoa, 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 whoa! Kamni hung the first mate over the back of the boat. Now, I'm sorry, but one of you guys killed a guy who's our friend. I know who I'm going to believe. I'm going to be I'm going to believe big muscular here. What did you do, you dwarf bastard? I didn't, my height nor strength permits me to do what Kamini did. But, I mean, what, who I, should put out, I should put I never hung him over the side of the, the boat. Like, if this is me accidentally confessing as well. Like, I never hung him over the back of the boat. I, I attempted to pick him up and he pulled an axe out. But can it was definitely the worst fault. Can I just point out the stupidity of trying to threaten the captain of the ship we're on? He's the, he's the, he's the quartermaster. He's only the first. Yeah, see? He's not even the first mate, he's the quartermaster. Oh, the quartermaster is okay. fairly high up in the hierarchy of the ship. He's essentially the, the yeah, one under the captain. The problem. So, so why did yeah. you do this, guys? What, so, what? I mean, it wasn't. Uh, it, it isn't really about what we did or what we didn't do. Who did what? Yeah, you no, know, it's not about that. You know. That kind of yes, it is. is. No, what, what did what you, why did you do it? What matters what, is why we did learn. you think? What matters is we learn from our experience. We've grown as people. And and we can move forward. What's but, the lesson that you've learned other than not to try and hang the guy who's running the ship over the board of the ship? If you're gonna try and chuck someone overboard, don't do it when they're looking at you. That's, yeah, a, that's, a, that's a very important lesson. I yeah, agree with that. I kinda of wanna to touch on the on the not necessarily the why, but the the inkling we had. Uh he was weirdly staring out the back of the boat. He was meant to be looking at where we were going at the front. And he was muttering. Don't know what it was. What he was muttering. He was probably Damn swearing everything under the sun because he's having to deal with those guys again. Because last time we made his trip a fucking hell. Right, true. right, right. Can I offer a suggestion next time? Is if you're going to do this, at least hear what he was bloody muttering. Hey, we, we are. I mean, we did ask. Listen, this shoot. sounds like this like this sounds like some backseat driving to me. If you. <laughs> You weren't there. You don't know. <laughs> so you ourselves um, eating a breakfast and sort of looking back and forth between everybody as this story is being told, and doesn't she, she's giving she looks surprised, she, but she's not saying anything. Is there anything that's going on in the future related to this boat and this crazy guy? Do you, do, do you know anything about that? She fixes you with a stare. And does not say anything. Okay, well, that, me that's that says a million words. What, I what's going the, on with this guy? I nudge the bar and I'm like, she said she can't tell us. 
You're gonna have to be you have to be more charming than that, to, you know. And she she puts her hand out and just say, Yes, of course I'm not going to tell you anything about the future. Are you sure? Charmer. Um No, I'll I'll just try and persuade her a little bit. So Give me a persuasion. Is <laughs> your persuasion no like fifty? <laughs> <laughs> She says, I appreciate your curiosity, Master Bard, but you must understand, I cannot tell you. If I knew anything, I couldn't tell you. If I know nothing, I can't tell you, because even telling you that I don't know anything could change some pivotal moment. I, I, I can't. I can't say anything. But from where I you mean, are at the moment... We know that the Elf Race exists in the future, so that's something. And we know that this guy did something because you you clearly know something. So therefore, can we please not speculate on the future, please? I'm I mean, not speculating. Two... I'm, I'm I'm just asking. You know, it's, there's two. This is the future kind of... thing, and you're, you're there. I'm here. What's going? On? <laughs> there's two kind of horrifying potential realities here. Either. Either she does know stuff that she can't tell us, which is which is scary enough as or she doesn't know anything. In which case, how did she come from the future? We sort of antagonised everybody. Uh, do, do you say that out loud? Uh, <coughs> yes. <laughs> right. She looks at you and says, "Do you think everybody in the future knows everything that happened?" everywhere in the last 500 years. I mean, I barely know what's happened here in like the last 24 hours. So, you know, <laughs> well, you started a fight with the Quartermaster. Exactly. Yeah. So we, please we, stop we, asking. Please we, stop, stop asking me. Try and antagonize in everybody, okay? I didn't start. <laughs> Everybody's always picking on me. Right, at, at no, this, she no. gets up and leaves the room to go back to her quarters. I'm gonna she looks out. agitated. I'm going to follow her out, and I'm going to apologise to her on, on behalf of our group. Oh, and, well. And say that Cameron is a bit of a twat. Well, I don't want to say Wait, anything, but please, just please it. tell your tell your friends. Don't you? I can't answer these questions. Even even if I knew something, and I were to tell you that this is going to happen something is going to happen or something is wrong even telling you changes it oh, i'm yeah. trying to pres i'm trying to preserve my future and the only way i can do that at least with the knowledge i have now is to have the smallest impact that i could possibly have right so well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell him to leave you alone don't ask me questions because i won't answer them. okay and then she turns and, then and goes into her room I'm going to go back in the breakfast room and just stare at Camney. Camney stares back. Just stop it, okay? Camney points out loudly that it was the fucking bard that started that line of questioning and that the, that Camney only vaguely commented on the two potentially terrifying possibilities. Didn't ask her any questions. Maybe you two should stay in your rooms like the druid. And we can have some peace. We're not... <clears throat> We, we don't want to like. We can don't. I, it, can I offer you just Nepalese magic ocean. salt? <laughs> <laughs> we don't really want to piss off everybody on board. Yeah, let me and Davil with our clear heads just kind of carry on around the boat. I'm just going to shoot massively, and I'm going to disappear. Off, and I'm going to go. Off. I'm going to go up to the top deck and just get away from them because otherwise I'm just going to get pissed off. Okay, so you, you leave and go up to the top deck. I'm going to leave. You see some, because... the crew are up there milling around. The, you don't see the captain, you don't see us, but the rest of the crew are, are milling around on, on the various decks doing whatever they do on boats. You're not, you're not entirely sure. You're not a nautical yeah, man. Yeah, I'm going to observe. I'm going to sort of look out and just keep away from them for a bit. Camney makes a joking comment across the table about going upstairs and tossing the elf off the boat. <laughs> Are you human? I forget what. Half elf. I'm human. Human. Okay. I'm about tossing. <laughs> tossing tossing the human. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be tossed. 
<laughs> toss the rope. Oh, no, no, no. don't toss stuff. How about <laughs> dice instead? How about what? Yeah, How about let's about do dice instead. You want you're challenging Devil to a game of dice? As a calming measure, yeah. Okay. Now this could be interesting. Right, I'll play him. Okay. Um, what's your wager? What do you want to wage? Mm, Ooh, uh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, and whose dice are you using? Do any of you have dice on you, or are you going to have to... You have to borrow them off the... Yeah, we borrow them off the crew. It's, uh, okay. The, um, the pay-in is ten gold pieces. Who, who is who is going to go and find the dice? Oh, I, I'll go and have some dice. Okay, so the devil leaves. So you, you go and find one of the one of the crew and ask him if you can... You, some, one of the crew that you played with earlier. And you ask him if you yeah. can borrow some dice. You go, oh, to your friend, just, you know... Best of luck with you. And he hands you three six-sided dice. Cool. Uh, uh, the dice any any use? They just are they normal dice? Are they being shaved anyway? Uh, give me. A... Let me have a look. This is where you find out that they totally fucking screwed you. <laughs> uh, well, you won. So, give me an in... an investigation check. God. Oh, that'll do it. You've, yeah, you spent some time playing dice when when you used to kick around Shady Creek Run, and you spend some time going over these because you find it amazing to find that these dice are actually legitimately good <laughs> dice. They seem to be correctly weighted. They don't seem to favour one side or the other. That's okay. So it's all on the technique now. Uh, and, and you know, palming and so on. That's fine. Right, so you make your way back to the to the breakfast area. Right. Jeff's, Jeff's still in there. I don't know where you're up to, Jeff. But uh, Davil is now sitting there with Panda. I'm, I'm, to... I'm just watching this uh, all unfold and going, thinking, this is great. Okay. <laughs> Camney is extremely excited about this game. Right, so what are you wagering? <laughs> Does anyone else want in? It's 10 no. pieces. In. It's only Jeff in there at the moment. You know what's you know funny what? here, guys? Dave, in real life, exactly what you're talking about is the reason my wife won't let me play dice games anymore and roll by hand. I have to use a tumbler. Because <laughs> she got proper angry with me constantly rolling double sixes in backgammon. <laughs> you want to go first? Uh, I'll, I'll join in, guys. Ten, gold. ten gold buy-in, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, cool. so you will put ten no, gold on the table. No magic, okay? Camney's just I, I am not going to well, use Camney, any magic. I think magic you're wandering. At all. You're not in there. Why am I not in there? Because you said you wandered off somewhere. You moved your counter. I think you went no. into the. No, where are you? No, Dav was me. Oh no, you are in there. Yeah. Yeah, Davil went off to the. Uh, yeah, Davil got the dice. Oh, okay, yeah, because he challenged me to a game of dice. Oh, Sorry. I see. Yeah. So who, who's who's playing? Uh, Pandak, Davil, and Jeff. Are you in? Yep, I'm in. Right. What did you agree the wager was? Ten gold each. Okay, so you put the thirty gold in the middle of the table. This is the point I where casually my dice wander in, sit down, and space out in the corner, watching this. You wandered. You've wandered out of your room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you 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 wander in, uh, just as um, the your colleagues, they're, they're they're sitting in this clearing and are um, crowded around the fallen stump of an ancient oak tree, and they're starting to pile it with flowers. Ooh. It's very strange. They're piling flowers onto the middle of this um, this tree stump. Um, the dwarfs there. Um, the, I had some leaves to the pile. The strange uh, tiefling is there. Um, there's someone you, you've, you've, you didn't actually see since you've been on the ship, which is a, a Goliath friend. And um, you notice that it, it's Hello. not just him. He's sat there in uh, in the corner of the clearing, but there's some people around him. You see um, the, the faded outline of a child, a Goliath child. Um a Goliath woman and an old Goliath man are all standing behind him, just stood there. I stare at him intently and ask, "Who are these? If, are these your family?" Camney is obviously 
tactically confused by this. Yeah. Uh, so Sindan just wandered in and asked you that. Stared at you for a second or two and asked you that. Who? The guys? I, I began to try and engage with the people behind him, obviously talking past Camney to people who aren't there, asking him who they are. And Camney what they... looking over each shoulder like... Do you have anything to tell me? The figures just stand there and, and look at you. They, you look sad. To, I tried sad to people. Engine, like, trying to get a druid to look in the eyes. Like, who the fuck are you talking to? Your friends. Your family. The friends are over there. Like, I point across the table. I'm like, they're over there. <laughs> and I'm pointing to? over his shoulder. The, the, the people behind no you. There. There's no one there, dude. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just point there out. was a lady earlier who isn't here too. Yeah, there is a lady. Well, who here. can you? I, I actually, actually, I engaged the. the who, who do you see? A, an old man. A young girl who looks a bit like you. No, not a young girl. Uh, she, oh, no, she's, sorry. She's a, she's a grown woman, not a young girl. A grown woman. Okay, a grown woman and a young boy. And a young, you say? A young boy, yeah. And a young boy who looks maybe a bit like you, similar stature. I assume I mean, they were. I all look relatively similar. So... Do you look? No, to be you all look alike to me. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, Goliath's hey, lives matter. Hey, that is... <laughs> oh, fuck's sake! Okay. Yeah. Demonetized. Um, demonetized mum for life for every channel. Fucking <laughs> Um... I, at this point, could have just, as you know, just kind of think the druid is just has lost his marbles. So I, I disengage and okay. watch the dice game. Right. So you, right. you wander around, um, Sindan. Right. You three. Uh, the quick, quick Tom out of character. I just noticed the description of a druid craft. Says, yeah. um, such as the fall of the leaves, a puff of wind, the sound of a small animal, or the faint odor of skunk. Yep. Yep. I don't think skunk means in that description what we think it means. No. <laughs> no, you know. No, it absolutely means that. Yeah. I mean, there's the skunk and the skunk, and you you got yeah. it into both. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tree huggers. Yeah. It's, right. it's that skunk. <laughs> okay, so there's now 30 gold in the middle of the dining table. Um, I want all everyone who's playing to roll 3d6. Okay, um... And it's high number slide, wins. Am I doing a sleight of hand check at the same I time? I don't know, are you? Uh, actually... Right, roll your 3d6. I'm going to roll my 3d6, and then... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it on luck first. If, you do, if you're doing a sleight of hand, do a GM roll. Do a sleight of hand. Yeah, do a it GM like roll. I won so. anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Davil wins. It's close, but he wins. Uh, 30 I'm gold. I'm going cock an eyebrow. I come and sit next to, to Davil. And, goes to uh, and, Davil. And, uh, and gently gently tell him how dice should be carefully rolled. Yeah, so actually it's a good Lovingly. point. All of you should GM roll. So, actually no, that's... Hmm. Yeah, if you're doing... Sli yeah, so um, Pandak and um, Jeff, you just roll. Uh, Davil always GM roll. Okay. But if you want to do a sleight of hand, do one of those as well as a GM roll. What about if I want to do deception? Or does that not count? Okay. All of you GM roll. <laughs> okay. And if you want to do anything, then I want you to do a sleight of hand roll as well. And I will tell you what happens. I'm too out of it to be sneaky. So everything I do is open and quite obvious. I'm just going to sit there and raise an eyebrow. Well, have rolled. you collected your winnings? Yeah, I collected my winnings. Okay. Love your dice. Love the Roll. dice. Time for another? Okay. Yeah, go on then. Right, you all put your wager in, 10 gold. It's a rich game. Yeah. It is, that's quite a lot of money. It is a lot of money. So, all of you GM roll your 3d6, and if you want to perform any sleight of hand, also, GM roll a a, um, a sleight of hand check. Uh, that's a D20, isn't it? Yeah, Just out, D, of, out of curiosity, D20 I'm not plus... rolling, but how do you do a GM roll? Just slash, slash GM, GM roll. roll. Oh, okay. So, so it's D20 plus the, the number on it. 
It's, uh, let me look. So let me pick up, uh... You can shorthand it with so, just slash GR. Yeah, um, so it's a D20 plus your, um, dexterity modifier. Uh, slight yeah. Band. Yeah, plus your dexterity modifier, and if you are proficient, it is your proficiency bonus for anything else you get. So, for example, um, double you get plus seven. Okay. So you've all GM rolled. Okay, uh, so... Um, oh, okay, I we... rolled that wrong, but it doesn't matter. So how do you do slight hand again? So it's just a d20 so plus... you do your... slash GM roll, 1d20 plus your dex modifier. Dave, don't forget uh... to love your dice. Oh yeah, sorry, I've also got an extra d4 on my... Um... On your slight do hand. Do you want me to re-roll my 3d6 or not? No. No, your D your D four will go against just your ability Sorry. check. It's like a van. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um I'm trying to figure out what dexterity modifier is. Which one is that? It's, it's the not, uh... big number above uh, dexterity. So if uh... Alright, so it's it's not it's not the one underneath dexterity. No, it's... which is a big number, it's the small number. So it'll be dexterity no, it'll be number, dexterity big number, number, which is your body Physi modifier. Physically yeah. physically big number and physically small number. Yeah, you want the big one? You want the big so one. So it'd be like... Big, yeah, the large five. one, right. Yeah, it'd be like five or four or something like that. Yeah. Not not like 50. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so Pandak uh, rolled 12. Is your dexterity actually like 50? My Dabble... dexterity is fucking high. Yeah. <laughs> Pandak saying. rolled 12. Davil rolled 16. Uh... Uh, is that right? Yes. I think that's right. <laughs> Davil rolls 16. Uh, if Jeff rolls 21, I'm going to punch him. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. 3d6, yeah. Everybody <laughs> make a perception check. Come on, guys. Jeff rolls 40. In a row. This is a game to call head, but I hope you're not doing anything dubious. <laughs> perception. Uh, where's a click on perception? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, you literally you just, just click, on like, perception, yeah. click on perception. Click on perception. Oh yeah. The word, yeah. <coughs> Busted. <coughs> okay, so... So, Pandak rolls 12. Uh, Davil rolls 16. Uh, Jeff rolls 6. Not very well. Jeff, you notice... Um, you don't notice anything. <laughs> you don't notice anything. All right. So, Davil wins again. Well rolled again, Davil. I think that's that's enough for me. Can't afford I'll, it. I, I go over to the bard friend and tell him that he should really learn to 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 love his dice. <laughs> love the dice. Here, uh, kiss I'm them. I'm going to get the fresh air. <laughs> I know when yeah, I'm, it when is. I'm on it, the it's not drink. a pleasant smell as as the uh, the druid is <laughs> is crowding you and telling you about love. Yeah, I breathing can't. breathing all over your dice. Yeah. Uh, well. I'm, I'm trying to go down and I've now got to kiss my dice. <laughs> <laughs> I've had worse evenings. <laughs> I'm going to shoot off for a sec. I'll be back in a sec. More okay. Well, we'll say Dad will go through a walk. Does anyone else want to do anything? Yeah, I'm going to go and grab a beer really quickly as well. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now going to climb on top of the table and squat there. Okay. Anyway, tracksuit bottoms. Yep. So, I think you're, yeah, everyone's like, okay, no, yeah, well, at least he's, at least he's not screaming. Ah, it's the only thing as a GM, you spend so much time setting some stuff up and you think, right, how long are they going to spend on the boat? Yes, okay, so I need to make sure I've got this ready ahead of them when they arrive, and then if they make these decisions, I need to have this ready, and then we spend an hour and 40 minutes on the boat. Yeah, and I do apologise about that. I actually did a five-minute riff on the whole bloody thing with the special effects going and didn't realise that you guys had all frozen. I thought you were being 
kind and patient in letting me do it, and then didn't realize that I disconnected. So I don't know how long I was gone for. Uh, never mind. We, we got the effect. And it Fair also means enough. I've got plenty of material in the can as well. So <laughs> I got I got plenty of prepared GM stuff now. To, so you shouldn't be able to surprise me. Please don't try cool. to surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, well, look, everybody else is waiting. I'm just going to go make a cup of tea. I'll be right back. Okay. okay. I even went to the shops today specifically to get this for a visual gag. <laughs> and I'm just munching popcorn. There's no wrong with popcorn, other than the fact that it's a delicious snack. Oh, it is great. Although this whole sweet and salty thing, I'm I'm not convinced. Nah. No, it's I don't. The other. Yeah, I don't like surprise popcorn. I don't mind salty popcorn. I don't think I'm a fan of surprise popcorn. I mean, if you're sweet and salty, just get some salty popcorn and we'll just pour butter on it. Yeah. I mean, butter popcorn is, is gold tier popcorn. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. Yeah. Butter popcorn is best popcorn, and I remember when uh, when they used to serve it in the cinema, and you can't get it anymore. Yeah, you used to like fuck, freaking ladle it on. Yeah, they well, did. It was like, Gallons of the stuff. Here, yeah. Here's a bit of um. Would you like some butter on it? Yes, please. Would, would you like to know a little bit of of uh, a horrible, nasty tale about that butter? No. Nope. Okay. No. no. Absolutely no. not. No. No. Work. Seriously, no. no. Really, no. Don't. I don't want to learn about the popcorn. I don't want to find no out that Sooty was racist. Okay? I don't want to know any of that stuff. I was... No one wants to know about the, the dirty secrets of fast food because no. you go into fast food, you do your job, you quit it because it's shit, and yeah. then you just leave that secret and never go there again. Mm. I pay a pound for a burger and I don't want to know how it's that little. Yeah. I mean, bur burger van burgers are a special kind of burger. They are, yeah. It's the Lips, eco parcels, and I. Uh, they, they're only edible if your alcohol level is above a certain point, too. At which point, before that, they're indigestible. You might as well oh, just God. not. The, the best burgers of all time used to be outside of um, a couple of years ago called Star. It was absolute shit. The worst burgers you'll ever... Th I mean, the sold kebabs and a boiled kebab... That's how crap it was. Boiled kebab. Yeah, Boiled. It, it's a crime. Yeah, so you should like have like kebab shavings. Comes in a fucking of, plastic wait, bag, like boiling a bag of kebab. Well, well, it was a case of this guy didn't know how a bain marie worked. So instead of like having, you know, these things in heated water, it just fucking put the kebab meat in the water. So you just fish out with shit kebab. Oh god. It's a crime against humanity. God, we used to eat at one uh, uh, when I lived in Dunstable called the Chuck and Spew. <laughs> oh, God. And believe it or not, I used to eat there with Pickering. Oh, man. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there used to be a chain in... I don't know if it's still there. There used to be a, my a chain in um, where, you know, where I lived. And um, their speciality burger was called the Big Dripper. Okay. Uh, it was I'm intrigued. Deep... It, it, it was like a Big Mac, but instead of having a bit of bread in the middle, it was another burger. And all of it was deep fried. What? Afterwards? So, speaking my language. Yeah. <laughs> um, Are you sure you didn't live in Glasgow? <laughs> uh, close enough, it was High Park in Leeds. And this place was absolutely shite. But this burger, you didn't have to chew it, you just used to go, get the bun. Squeeze it and just slide down the back of your fucking throat. And it's like, all right, this is, this is god tier food. This is absolutely a diabolical. Yeah. It cures all hangovers, and it, yeah, it's fine. And then about two years into it, we went we've got one better. It's called the King Kong, and it was five burgers deep fried. Right. <laughs> the exact same thing. It was like, <laughs> and that's why I'm rotund. <laughs> Sometimes you need that, though. Sometimes At two in the yeah. morning, you've just been kicked out. You, you, some, you need that. Now, in all fairness, the thinnest I ever was was when I lived there, and I was eating them every week because I just didn't eat the bread. <laughs> you, you, you're on the Atkins yeah. diet. Just you didn't uh, know. Uh, it. So, <laughs> you know, the bread was normally green anyway because it's got all the food groups. <laughs> There's like, there you go. 
That's your, that's your, that's your shit burger. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so you've had your game of, of, of dice. Um, everyone's doing their own thing. Has anyone got anything they want to do specifically before yeah, we so, before yeah, we continue so, the adventure? Cam- Camney, sh- short stuff. What the fuck was you doing with this guy then? Come on, just let, let me know the full details. You only alluded to them earlier. <laughs> Well, we went we we went up on deck. I was having a bit of a bit of a restless sleep, and uh, I walked the dwarf up by mis- like he heard me kind of rustling around, and we had a walk up on on deck, get some fresh air, have a look overboard, and uh, yeah, uh, he was he was in at the stern of the ship, staring away from the nose, like you know, as so, you do when you're piloting a ship. So, so he's being a bit dodgy, right? Yeah. Um, Don't word of him. Well, I mean, I, I think it's worth having a low, keeping a low key eye on him. Maybe nothing yeah. more than that because he had a really big fucking great axe. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I, like I said, he was weird that he was looking at the back and Panda Kerr muttering uh, something. We, we, he can make it out. Um, and then yeah, <laughs> Panda asked him whether or not he would want to tell us what he was doing. And then suggested that I might throw him overboard otherwise. And then I tried to throw him overboard. Uh, turns out he's got a big axe. How so, did you not see this big axe? I mean, it's not exactly a tall fellow. And that's coming from me. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not I mean, exactly... I was in the process of trying to chuck the quartermaster of the ship overboard. I'm not exactly... That's fair yeah. enough. I'm not good at this stuff. I'm good at bashing. What 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 time about was it? And he was chanting this sort of stuff. Was it late night, midnight, early morning? What? Yeah, one of them. It was early morning. Yeah. It was early. It was early morning. morning. Yeah. How uh, was the sun? Was it was the sun risen? Was it? Was it still dark? It was dark. What was going? On? It was after right. you'd woken from your dream. It was it was dark. It was the early hours. Okay. So. Nah. All right, well, shall I have a chat with this guy? Or check I mean, up on him at the same sort of time? It, um, might, it, it might work like a good cop, bad cop kind of situation if you go in softly, softly, nicely, nicely. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Because uh, I can't be asked any more fucking fighting or fucking crazy summoning bastards. Worst case scenario, I'll just charm the fucker and make him jump off the boat. It's fine. It's fair cop. Right, so what, what's the plan? What are you doing? Um, it's currently after breakfast. You've eaten, you've had your game of, di- your game of dice. You've figured out you want to mess with us, I'm assuming. How, the plan? how far are we through this journey, by the way? I was going to like a day in. Day yeah. one. Of, of how many? Of three days or two days? It's a nine day trip. <laughs> as, Holy as far crap. As, GM, as far as GMing goes, if you run out of plans, I'll fast forward it. But okay. as, soon, as long as you want to I, do I, stuff, we'll off the game. I, I, going back to bed for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'll kind of I, I, meander. I'll meander around. But I would, I would, I would definitely vote for if there's no explicit plans that we expedite this as as soon as um, Jeff's had a shot at the uh, quartermaster. Yeah, saying it's time to press fast forward button. I think. Well, the good news is I've got plenty of other stuff planned, so... Awesome. (laughs) Uh, Sorry about that, Doggo, I needed a poo. Uh, Where's Dave gone? Sorry, I'm sorry. I I, I took off camera for a second. Mm. No, he's fine. Have I put up your your, your camera slot? No, well, no, as as long as your cam's on, it's fine. If you drop your cam off, it shuffles everybody, and it's like, fuck, all the names are now wrong. (laughs) No, you're fine. So n- next time I'll just put I'll just step away from the camera, or turn the camera to the wall. I just had something stuck in my teeth, and nobody wants to see me try and pick my teeth. Nah. <laughs> no, no, point you at the ceiling or something. Right. Sorry. So what? Point you at the ceiling or something. So right. What yeah. do you want to do? Um, I'm going to sort of take it easy and sort of keep a half eye on dodgy guy, and with the inter- well, with the aim of watching him in the middle of the night when in when he was just like <laughs> gonna peer in the door on him 
Yeah. Okay. What are you doing, Rose? <laughs> well, you what, know, on your own? I'll... Um. It's probably the most covert. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it on my Todd. Yeah. Okay. Um, do any of you do anything during the day? Um, no. 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 Just chilling. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to... I think I'll sit around and listen to what the crew are saying, but it's just right. not... Not not going to follow anybody or anything. It's just going to watch the crew and just listen. Okay, well, um, Davil, you you make your way around the ship, just listening to the general chit chat. It all seems to be usual ship's business and the usual sort of you know rumours and and all that sort of stuff. Nothing nothing particularly interesting. You know who's looking forward to seeing who when they get back to port. That sort of stuff. Uh, while you're up on deck, you do notice your Darcel makes her way up. Um, sometime in mid-afternoon um, you follow her and she makes her way up near the front of the ship and you see her standing there with, with a, a, a couple of books in her hand and then she tosses those books into the sea that's interesting and you see you see them disappear over the, over the rail and they're gone she looks, a, she looks a bit dejected at this point. Must have been Fifty Shades of Grey or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, Not the Gilbert Gottfried version, of course. <laughs> yeah. You mean the best version? Definitely the Gilbert Gottfried version. Yeah. So there you are. That's where you are at the moment. So you've just seen her toss those over the side. Oh, there's no chance of getting them back or we'll see what's on no, them. Gone. It, she, she threw over the last copy of Piers Anthony's Pornocopia. <laughs> I'm sure everybody is glad of that. <laughs> right, I've she's... read half of it. It was rubbish. She turns to make her way back down and notices you were on the lower deck. Lower half of the upper deck, sorry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wave aimlessly and just, you know, acknowledge her. I saw her. Okay. She nods at you. Starts to walk down. You're probably going to ask me what I was doing, aren't you? Yes. Because well, I'm going to know you get. In the interest of transparency, I've done all the research I can with the material I had on me. I haven't really learned anything more than I did earlier, but these books were dangerous. In this time, anything like the the knowledge in those books is dangerous even the smallest thing so i got rid of them they cannot fall into anyone else's hands dive overboard dave dive overboard <laughs> with some fucking fish time travelers it might have been easier to burn them but I oh yes fire on a boat i i seem to remember that uh that's something that is, uh, well, a uh, tradition, yes? She says sarcastically. Yeah. Got, Only uh, for dead Norsemen, that's the problem. Well, well, the speed that this boat's going, there's going to be no chance of going back to get them, even if they haven't sunk. I'm guessing. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, you can jump over the side and try if you want, no? <laughs> the, no. the boat is no. going quite fast, yeah. <laughs> Right, if, she was, if you'll excuse me, then walks past you and makes her way down back into her, into her quarters. It was definitely Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> okay, so we're going to fast forward to the evening, because no one's said anything else. You've all, you're all sat around the table, eating your evening meal. Vocal is still, uh, sorry, Sindan is still in his room. Mm. Although you, you've heard some... Noises from in there during the day, some of them not human. You heard some, <laughs> some bumping, Ooh. some growling, some howling. But he seems to be keeping to himself. He's currently in there now. That's a crank if ever I heard one. What do you want to do? Right. So. You want it? Sorry, when you go. I don't know. After you, well, I, was gonna say, we, I was just going to say, do we want to expedite this? Let's get to land. Oh, do I check on this guy or shall I just leave him be? 
Well, I mean, could we could we expedite it with the presumption that at the available opportunities, Jeff is tailing and investigating this fellow? Okay, yeah, let's do that. So we've got yeah. seven days. Let's not Robert Jordan this. We've got seven days left till we um, till we make land. So Jeff, can you give me a? Ooh, let's have a look. Can you give me a stealth check? One stealth check, please. Just one of the city. That'll Freaking fucking out. do it. Okay. Right, so... <laughs> no run for us. The yeah. first night... Yes, my man. The first yes. night you decide to start ch- uh, tailing Urs, um, you manage to keep a low profile. He's, he's, he's taking the, the late watch again. And at around three in the morning, he's he's up on the uh, on the top deck. And let, let me move you up there, Jeff. So you're currently in the ocean. You're you're actually currently here <laughs> on the main deck, but you're looking out through this grating in the in the in the ceiling, and you can see up onto the onto the top deck. And Urs is is sort of moving around and. and He's keeping a lookout to see what's what's going on and if there's anyone up and around. And he seems fairly confident that nothing's going on. And you then see him. Let, let me put a let me put a counter down. I'll put uh, let's put that one down. You see him now go to the the rear of the ship and stand there. You slowly make your way up to the top deck uh, actually the way this is laid out you're, you're actually on the mid deck so you, you slowly make your way up to here and then you can see up to this bit here and you can hear him muttering away you don't recognise the language ok right because I'm hearing him speaking absolute gobbledygook I'm going to uh, use my comprehend languages uh, and uh, yeah, cast okay. that so I can understand what the heck is on about. Uh, one action self. Okay, so you you cast your comprehend languages and you start listening, and you can hear him saying things like "strangers on the ship, great master, unsure." What they are doing, but there, there is power here. Vilified, fucking vilified. Where did the Should have gone the other point. I have lost this motherfucker over before. Right, upon upon hearing that and understanding that, mm-hmm. I, I go down and rouse the rest of the guys, apart mm-hmm. from Druid who's tripping his fucking tits off. <laughs> hippies, <laughs> fucking hippies, man. Um, I, I'll let them know. So, like, look, this guy, he actually is dodgy. Is is questioning some fucking Lord Master or something about us? So, shall we go and knock him? I vote yes. I want to toss. I mean, we should I, definitely find out what he's doing for the safety yeah. of all future passengers. I mean. I'm willing to defer to people trying to interrogate him. I mean, I would I'll, sincerely I'll, like to throw him overboard. I mean, I'll, I'll try. I'll try and charm the guy to let him, let me know what's going on. But uh, we, we I should... want you guys there as backup in case it all goes tits up, and he wants to swing that giant axe of his. That we're, Let's we, what we, we, we want to leave throwing him off board uh, until the last possible option, because you know we need to find out what's happening. Yeah. Sure. So, you want me to have a look at his uh, room whilst you're talking to him? Yeah, um, I mean, yeah. Uh, that's good. If, if you hear he's any gonna... yelling, come on. Okay. He's gonna, he, he's gonna, he's gonna throw a wall. If certainly, if I go up there, probably if the dwarf goes up. So if if Davil goes and searches his room, Pandag and I can stand near the steps. Going up to the middle deck, not on the middle, on the top deck. Cool. Hold if, on. If anything goes wrong, I'll just shout out and you shout. Straight. Captain, 
because we need you as backup there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Invisibility on you. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I didn't know you had that. That's rather That's tasty. You. So you are now invisible for... I have to concentrate bits for up to an hour. Cool. Is there any material uh, cost of that? No, you have to say no, that's fine, you've got that. Yeah, you can do that. Cool. Alright, sick. So, yeah, uh, and I like now invisible. I'm Arabic. So you you okay. you reach into your your, your your in, your wizard's pouch, pull something out, make the actions, speak the words, and then you touch Camney. And where your hand touches him on his chest, he starts to go special area. transparent. In his special area, he starts to go transparent, and then he fades from you. Awesome. Uh, you can actually do one other, one other creature too. You can do two of you. That's with a higher level. That's with higher level. But yeah. he is third level. He's no, like he's only got level two spell slots. Oh, I see. So okay, can make... all right. No, he can't. No, he can only do one. He needs okay. to get level three spells for you to Okay. Okay. I will. I will accompany Jeff invisibly. Cool. Right. So, where are you going? Are you both going to the bottom of the stairs up to the top deck? Well, I think we're going to just. I'm just going to go upstairs, and I'll go. Yeah, right, mate. How you doing? Right. So, where's Dabble? Where's I'm gonna get Down here. And this is his room, so I'm gonna uh, go. Excuse me, wait till it's cleared, and then pick that lock and go in. Right. Uh, can you give me a thieves' tools check? Oh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, Where are you now, Jeff? Are you? Have he's you in the moved? Lower deck. Oh, Jeff. I should be. Sorry, I'm trying to move up, but I'm now in the sea. So. Uh... <laughs> Get in the sea, just like the statue. So uh, I, I, yeah, I, I suspect that means I'm straight through that door. Yes, you you very easily open it. You remember from the last time you lock picked it? It was yeah. very easy. So you you make your way in. I'm going to close you behind me and use my hooded lantern and have a quick search through everything. Okay, give me an investigation check. <clears throat> there's a there's a chest there, the chest that you picked open before that had um, just some just some. Uh, oh, natural some twenty. Noises. You don't see anything unusual. It looks like a regular room, like every other room on the ship. He's got to keep it on his per whatever he's got it on his person then. Yeah, it's time to come out and, and support the guys in the ship then. So come right, out. So behind you're, me. as you're doing that, um, Jeff Panda, where are you going? So I'm um, hiding on the lower deck. You're on, you're on the the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, yeah Panda, you're invisible. And Jeff, you approach. So as you approach yep. up the steps. He turns around and, and faces you. Yeah, you're man. invisible, though. Wait a minute, you're invisible. No, I am. Camney's invisible. Uh, Camney's, oh, Camney's yeah. invisible. Sorry, okay. Apologies. And standing as close to him as possible right. without, like, if he, like, like, if he waved his arms, he wouldn't hit me. But right. close enough that if I throw my axe, it's gonna, like, throw my axe, it's going to crack his head. So he turns to face you, Jeff, and says, uh, you are also fond of the nighttime walks like your friends. Ah, uh, no, so, sorry about those guys. I mean, one, one's a barbarian and the other one's a bastard dwarf. And you know what those dwarves are like? Yes, Jesus. I, I met them. Yeah, uh, I do apologise if I cause you any offence, that's all. You know, we're just trying to just kill some time. And we're a bit suspicious of everybody because, uh, well, we've had a lot of shit thrown at us this way, so... Isaac is, is not a, a, an easy land, I understand this. But yeah. please, so tell your friends. Like... Tell your friends that we all have our problems. Oh, not to yeah. take it out on well, others. Yeah, so you, you say we all have problems. I mean, you've heard of ours. What's, what's troubling you? I mean, you seem a bit on edge there. You, you're at the back of the boat. And you, you seem a bit wiry. Huh. What's up there? Nothing is up. I am simply doing my job. Yeah, sure. I mean, treat me at the front of the boat if you're doing your job. I mean, I'm not. I'm not an expert boatsmith or sailor or whatever you call oh. it these days. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, I will check the front of the boat. I will also check the back of the boat and the sides of the boats. Huh. We don't want something coming up behind us, do we? That we do not expect. 
Well, it depends what time of the night it is. You know, how many <laughs> how many meads we've had. Would you like some mead? No, thank you. I am working. Oh, are you sure? You look like a man who could. You could. You could look like you. You could do with good mead. I could not. Thank you for the offer. But so, what, what are you doing at this time then? I mean, you say you're checking everything, but all, all I saw was you know you were just chatting at the end of the boat and. A bit concerning, really. I want to make sure you're okay. Chatting? Do you have a yeah, point I mean... to make, friend? Well, I'm not an expert of all languages, but I am an expert of all languages, and you were saying <laughs> something about, you know, you suspect something about all of us, so what is it? Or are we going to have a bad time? Okay. Roll and. <laughs> Intimidation check. I was waiting for roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> There's intimidation. Oh my amazing intimidation. <laughs> what exactly do you think you heard? Did you think you well, heard? Well, you're talking to some masters of some kind, so I'm assuming that it's some form of ancient god or deity or you got some sort of spell going on with some guy at the end of the beach and you just want to talk about fishing I don't know what uh, is it that very well very well and he pulls his battle axe from his back roll initiative do uh, I get some, like a, like a Surprise attack? Surprise attack, attack on him? No. Well, hang on. Mistake. Well, okay, I mean, so going, let's I'm roll initiative and you're invisible. So if you want to launch an attack as he starts to... As he starts yeah. to... Um, Do you shout so that I hear him run up? Or... I'll, as I see him going for his axe, I, I yeah, cast, I mean, uh, I cast shout I... person. Right, so... <laughs> let's roll initiative. Eh? Yeah, so... not. Oh, hang on. Now get me through the... the Tracker up. Oh no. Oh, okay. Right. So, um, Jeff and and Camney roll initiative. Oh, hang on. Don't, not yet, actually. Yeah, that's right. the old one. Yeah. Okay. So Jeff and Panda roll initiative. Let's see. Kadaki. Do I roll initiative? Oh wait, no. Uh, sorry, me. Jeff and Camney roll initiative. Yeah. Oh god, damn, that was a good roll as well. And also Pandak, because you're at the bottom, you see this happening. Oh, that's worse than the one. <laughs> yeah, I, I just right got 19. The roll as well. Fuck's sake. I mean, he got a two, so. Um, Pandak, can you roll initiative? Yeah, sorry, I just lost the button there. Hold on. Okay. Fuck. Yes, yeah, on, Panda. 21. Yeah, like, cause, cause in my, in my, like, I, I say, like, I, I wanted to be close enough that he couldn't reach me, but like, that I could smash his fucking head in with my axe the second. Okay, so in. we're in, we're in combat now. He's pulled his axe. Um, Kamini, I'll give you a free action, nice. a free move uh, and attack action, if you want. To, okay, because he does not know you're there. Cool. So I will, I will close the distance. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will rage. Okay. Uh, and I will draw my great axe, and I will hit him with my fucking great axe. Okay. Which means I'm no longer invisible. Nope. But as you just as attack into him, <laughs> boom, you appear in midair. Um, I will attack recklessly for advantage. Okay. Well, I'll say you, you got advantage anyway. You've already got advantage invisible. for the surprise. Yeah. yeah. Surprise. Yeah, it's a surprise attack, so you already got advantage. Okay. Cool. So uh, I will roll. Uh, that absolutely hits him. Cool. And... Roll for, if you just click on Great Axe, it will roll the damage. The word Great Axe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you run forward, you appear out of midair, and slam your Great Axe into his uh, like upper chest, dealing 12 points of damage. I set up some macros to add my rage and stuff. Oh, cool. Okay. So he's like, 
he's like, he doesn't expect he doesn't expect this at all. He's he's, he's definitely surprised. Uh, next up is Pandak. You are at the bottom of the stairs as you see. You see him go for his weapon, and then Kamini appears out in midair as he's driving his axe into his uh, into uh, Urs. What's up, motherfucker? So I see Kamini go for it, and I back him up, and I just throw magic missiles at the chap. Uh, right, what's that? Let's have a look at the what's the range on that? I think I'm I'm pretty sure. 100, 100, 100. Yeah. Okay, magic missile. Yeah, go for it. Hit someone on a different bolt. <laughs> so each one does two force damage and you're putting all three at him. Correct, yeah. Okay, so that's that's six damage. Wait a minute, don't you get a do you get an extra missile at third level now? Yet? Uh if he casts it at third level, but he's he's casting it at first. Think, okay. All right. Are you casting it at first level? Um, I'm sure you are. Apparently so, yeah. Let me okay. have a quick look. Because third level and third level spells are different things. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that, but I, I wasn't certain if... Uh, it didn't no, prompt no. me of which level I was casting it, but yeah, I'll cast it at first level. Magic missile at higher levels. When you when you cast a spell using a spell at second level higher, the spell creates one more dart. So if you cast it at second level, uh, you can put one more dart in, and that was that will be your last second level spell slot. Yeah, no, I'll just do it first level. Okay, so six damage. You, you, your missiles zoom up poof, 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 like that and slam, 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 and he is now pushed up against the uh, the rail. Uh, next up is Jeff. So you've seen your your Goliath friend materialize out in midair, smack him in the chest, followed up by three missiles coming up from the Arja, left, right, then one in the middle of his chest. Right. Gavel, um, shit's kicking off, mate. Don't uh, come up here, mate. I shout down in my uh, very loud voice. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll say that Dabble's making his way back up, so at the moment, I'd say you'd be able to. The way this is going down, you'll be sort of here. And you can you hear this shout. So, can you roll initiative for me, please, Dabble? Okay. Um, Remember to click on your. Oh, hold on. I forget. Oh, I meant to move. First. Can I move at the end of my go? You can so if you want, yeah. Wow, my highest initiative ever. Ooh. Zing. Okay, so, okay. Right. So that was Jeff. Uh, so yes, you can move. You can move up if you want to. Uh, next up is Camney. Uh, yeah, I'll fuck again. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, so I will... Oh, oh uh, do... Does my new skill come into effect? God, which one was that? Oh, uh, your ancestor yeah. thing. Ancestral protectors, yeah. yeah. So okay. while you were raging, the first creature you hit with an attack on your turn becomes the target of the warrior. So you've made your hit. As yeah. you made this hit, you feel cold. You feel a chill as three shapes materialize around you. A child... Um, an old man and a woman have now appear appeared around you and are now moving to attack uh, Urs. Yeah. yeah. So basically, the target has disadvantage that any attack roll that isn't against you, and when he when he hits a creature other than you with an attack, that creature has resistance to the damage of the attacks. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically pull pull effect. Basically, Great. yeah. It's uh, yeah. It's aggro. Yeah. Yeah. And and I was a bit confused by it, but yeah, it, like it's so who, whichever thing I attack with my first attack on every turn is yes. through that thing hardest. So. Yes, so, this sounds really quite cool. Yeah, it's great. So it's basically just tank damage. It's great. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, I will I will go for a attack against him. Um, okay. With my with my great axe. A reckless attack was that? A reckless attack. Yeah. So I'll okay. take. Take disadvantage if he uh, if he tries to strike. So how does it, um, let me have a quick look at your because you and social protectors disadvantage in it that isn't against you. So so basically, if if he hit, tries to attack if anyone anyone else, he gets disadvantage. So yeah, it doesn't affect you. So he's yeah. yeah he still would have advantage against you if you had advantage reckless, for yeah. me against my reckless. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
So uh, that's an advantage that hits. Cool. Uh, great axe raged. 16. Ooh, that's a big hell. Okay, nice. so you're Whoa. surprised. You, you, you've not seen these before. You've not seen these images mm. before. You recognize the the description of these images from what um, Sindan was waffling on about the other day. <laughs> Told you! And <laughs> Urz also seems surprised at these things you've appeared to, to start with. And then these other spectral creatures have appeared as well, and you managed to land another heavy blow against him. He um, he's he's wounded. He's severely wounded. Do you want to make a move? Uh, no, I was I, I, I face to face with him. Okay, right. Next up is Urz. So before Oz goes, I shout at him, so you've seen what we can do, are you sure you want to carry on with this? Or do you want to gracefully tell us what and who you were talking to and dealing with? Okay, so what Urz does, he he's shocked and wounded from all the damage you managed to pile into him in, in the first uh, lot of attacks. And he sort of looks in on himself, and as he does this, you see him begin to shift and change. His skin turns blue with green highlights and you see his neck start to extend and lines start to appear along the inside of his neck fucking Ocean. gills he's gone yeah. scanners yeah, he's like a gills. Frog. his arms lengthen out and you see webbing now appear between his fingers he's a frog he he the deep one he does look like a, a an amphibious creature. Mate, I, I fucking tombstone the frog. Don't start it. <laughs> At least it's not the kraken. He's become a deep one. That Except the deep ones don't exist in D and D. I can't okay. actually see what that icon is. Hold on, I'm zooming in. If you're zooming in, you should be able to see it. And well, good. He will make a. Oh, he's ugly, man. He's ugly. He's gonna. Rake his claw at Camney. I'm going to. If, before he does that, I fire some cutting words at him. So he's Rick. going to make the attack, and then you're going to use your reaction, okay? Oh, that's. Nice. Because so, uh, I need to see that before you hear exit the attack, don't I? Is it? Uh, so what's, how does cutting words work again then? I've just. Uh, when a creature makes an attack. Makes roll. an attack. So he makes a roll. You, you can, can use your use reaction react. to use your bardic inspiration and subtract the number yeah. from the roll creature's roll. So I've yeah. made the, he's made the attack. You roll your 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 cutting words. You tell us what they are, and I'll subtract it from his roll. All right, then mm -hmm. let's see. You fucking gill faced motherfucker! What? All you need to do is just tell us what you were doing, you dickhead. Jesus Christ! Don't let us kill you now, you. You're just hitting like a pansy. I mean, come on, look at you. You look like a fucking old woman's vagina. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to run ads on my channel, ever. No. Nope. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> so, what, what, what do I roll? A bar of inspiration, so it's 1d4, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> okay. Might be enough. Insults, Might well. be enough. No, it hits and he does eight slashing damage to you, can he? he he's, um, he's completely slashing. focused slashing, yeah. Cool, so that's. Did you say eight? Yes. Okay, so that's down to four because of my rage. Okay. Awesome. And he is going to. Uh, he's going to move. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you can get an attack of opportunity as he moves away from you. Cool. Um, I will go with the Great X, and I will go Reckless again for advantage. Just as well. Uh, yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Eight. 
Okay, so as he turns to run, you manage to strike at his back. He's, you can now see blood coming out of out of his wounds. It's not it's not red. It is like a dark black blood. Okay. Spread, but if he jumps in the water, it starts swimming away. <laughs> Next up is Panda. Uh, right, how far away am I? There's nothing in front of you. Cool. Content killer, light him up. Don't light the boat on fire. No. <laughs> light the boat on fire. I don't you know care. what happened before. We're not going to throw fire around in this place. However, I'm going to do a level 2 magnify gravity. Okay. So what does that do? So that, uh, at a point, it makes a 10 foot radius sphere around a point that I can see. So I'm going to go... Like right on, on him? On him, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, each creature in the sphere takes a 2d8. Uh, has to do a say, uh, roll. Constitution. Constitution saving throw. Okay, so that's all of those. Constitution saving throw, okay. What's the DC? What's your um, DC? Uh, 13. He fails. Okay, so because it's level 2, he takes 3d8 force damage. Okay, roll your damage. And his speed is halved. Yep. Nice. So, that doesn't have any material cost, does it? No, it doesn't. No. Uh, minus 12, okay. So as you nice. release the spell, you see... He's, he's sort of making it down the side of the ship and he sort of thumps immediately down onto his knees. Um, and you see a, uh, all of the... Um, uh, there's some tackle on the end of one of the uh, lifeboats uh, and that sort of slips off and then goes, uh, and slips down and points to the bottom of the deck. That, GG. Uh, that is your turn. That's an awesome spell. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty fun. Can I then chase him as well? Because I've got some you, movement. You can move, yeah. So I chase him down. Okay. Um, so next up is Dabble. You are currently... Where are you currently? You're on the... Uh, lower deck. You're on the oh, lower sorry, deck. Yeah, deck. You can hear the yeah. shouting, so you can make it... You came up here, so you can go... One, two, three, four, five. You can make it to the bottom of those stairs. If you uh, if you want to run, you can make it to you can make it to here on the upper deck. If you want yeah, to I spend think, your action to run. I think I'm gonna run. So let's go there. Okay. So you can barreling up the stairs. In fact, let's move you yeah, it's about to say, aren't you all? Yeah, you're all on the same spot, effectively, yeah. aren't you? Let's move Main you two down here. There you go. Next up, Jeff. Okay. Um, right, let's move that down as well, because that's where it is. It seems to have vanished from where it was to. Yeah, because yeah. you're on the you're on the, you're on on the, the level. You're on the stern of the ship. Yeah. If you go down, you're actually on the, the this one down here. Okay, okay, right. So let's see. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run down uh, to here, and I'm then going to cast. Uh, so you'd probably actually be there. Yeah. On the right, stairs, yeah. 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 And what I'm going to do as a last dish effort, I'm gonna try and charm him. It's like, oh come on. You know you're gonna get your ass kicked. There's a big angry bastard up there. You got an archer guy there. You got fucking fire out of his arsehole here. And I can just Start swearing at you, and you don't want that. Okay. So, um, you're in combat uh, yeah. with him, though, so does that mean he gets advantage? Well, 
I don't know. Um, Roll the spell and see what happens. Yeah, if you click the spell, it'll say. Yeah. Uh, you it's must make a wisdom save with advantage if you want. Oh, right, charm person. Okay, you must make a wisdom save though, and just say with advantage if you. Okay, so he makes a wisdom saving throw with advantage. Okay. What's your spell, DC? It is. Uh, I'm trying to see it. So I top of your spells it. list. Spells list. Ah, it's 13. Fucking hell. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you see the spell take effect. <laughs> charming cunt all the Just way. A charming <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> right, dude. So. He's Seriously, currently stop like. Being a guild... Stop being a guild freaking amphibian bastard. What the fuck's going on? He's looking at you confused now. He's still got Pandak next to him. He, he currently regards you as friendly. Right, guys. I, I, I'm your tits. I'm, I'm just going to try and charm this motherfucker out. Worst case scenario, I'll give a sort of a heads up. I'm going to just finish this up this guy off. I mean, he's got black blood pissing out of his back, for fuck's sake. So he uh, he speaks um, he speaks something in a language you don't understand. Are we still in uh, combat? I'm, I'm, yes. But, but uh, do I still understand all languages? My comprehend languages? Which How long does that last? An hour. Oh, it does as well. Uh... <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so yeah, you, 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 you hear him Fucking say, God. I must serve the master. Who's the master? I mean... The, the deep one who, who is it? brought me back. He brought you back? Where did you write it right from? Like, was, right. was you a shit return from a shop or something? That, that, that was your six seconds of, of turn. So next up is Camney. Uh, I will... So he's, he's, he's currently sort of almost pushed to the floor on his knees and on his elbows with this uh, magnified gravity field that Pandax put in place and with the distraction that, that Jeff has dropped on him with his fucking miraculous rolls. <laughs> so so uh, what I'd like to do first is move to the... I'm going to move to the bottom staircase. Or like yeah. the, the side staircase, yeah. which I can get to 30 metres to the top. And then from there, a further 30 meters, or a further 20. Yeah, it's in meters. Five. I don't know why it should be in feet, but each square is. Yeah, yeah five, and I'll yeah. basically end up next to him on on this side. But I'll, I'll stay like here, so I don't end. Okay. Um, so that's that's your uh, act, uh, your your action, action and your move. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can I engage? Jeff, like in conversation, you can say something to him. Yeah, um, you could probably just ask him to let us tie rope around his hands and legs. That's not harmful. Uh, well, <laughs> when, when just, he actually starts listening just, to just, it, it's a good idea, uh, man. A little bit of I'll... spank the fish. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, let's go with this. Worst case scenario. Let's see how this pans out, but I'm, I'm gonna have a way with him. Cool. Uh, right. And and one of can I lose my disadvantage thing? Because that... yes, you can. But you're also oh. losing rage because you've not made an attack action this turn. Good point. Thank you. Do you yeah. do, do your do your family hang around? How long do they hang out? Oh my fa Yeah, they 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 appear during my rage. Yeah. Oh, so they only disappear when so, you're and they disappear when your rage is gone. They have yeah, now. Phased out. Okay. Okay. okay, next up is Urz's turn. He's currently clamped to the floor. Uh, he re regards Jeff as friendly, but certainly not the rest of you yet. So he's going to make an attack against Pandak because he is next to him. So he's going to bite at you. Don't hit him back, please. What's your AC? It's quite low, isn't it? Oh. Right, he hits you for six piercing damage. So he lunges at you and he goes, bites into your leg. Okay. And then he's going to make a claw attack against you. Uh, what's 
your AC. <laughs> Twelve. That hits for five slashing damage. So he bites into your leg and then claws at you with his other hand. <laughs> and then he's going to take another claw attack against you. Wow. Oh, which hits for seven slashing damage. So he's beaten you once, slashes you, and then slashes you again. I don't know what's funnier. Not to hit him back as well. What? I don't know what's funnier. The fact that you get the shit kicked out of you, or the fact that your missus doing a Metal Gear Solid in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I miss it? Well, I'm going to have to work that later. Um, his movement is hard, isn't it? So he's going to make a move to try and get out of this area. Um, we're going to go... One, two, three, four. So, Pandak, you get an attack of opportunity. Don't take it. I pass on the attack of opportunity. It's a free attack. But that will stop yeah, that, the that spell. That breaks charm. Okay. Yeah. Right, so you, you don't have to attack. So next where did, up, how did we suddenly become so disciplined? What is this bullshit? Yeah, we're, we're learning. Your dwarf is learning. How about that? You're growing. Jack asked me not to attack back and, oh, and it's off as I am. Right, you can hear some commotion now from, from the lower decks. As, as this is starting to get noisy. So next up is Pandak. Dude, uh, I ready a spell, but wonder if I don't fire off. Hold can on. You hold? Hold, your, hold your turn. You can you can move and then hold your action if you want. So if you want to move and then hold a, an action and say you want to cast magic missile or something on on a certain trigger. Uh, yeah, I was just well, I was just seeing if I had any healing things for myself, but doesn't look like I do. Yeah, you are pretty rough. I got berries for you. You're asleep in your You're room. Yeah, your I know. Off. You're, yeah. You're tricky yeah. balls, man. <laughs> um, I, I just kind of bend and throw it down a little bit, but don't engage. So, so where are you I hold, moving to there? So I hold a magic missile until he attacks someone. Okay, so you're holding that. Next up, Devil. Uh, I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna get an arrow ready, but hold my action. Okay. And what's the trigger? Um, uh, if he actually, it, if either uh, Jeff says attack or um, uh, what's his face attack somebody else. Yours. Okay. Yours. Do you want to move? No, I'm gonna stay there. I, okay. I, he's moving. He's not going anywhere close to me. So. Okay. Oh, just so, uh, just as a GM note, I noticed in our previous games I wasn't using the cover rule for your arrow shots, um, so I look okay. now. Okay. Just so he, if he goes behind cover, then you'll have a, you know, he'll get extra AC against your attacks. And cover also includes creatures if if he gets mobbed. Right. Yeah. Next up, Jeff, you charming motherfucker. Okay, so, dude, come on. What's the crack? You say you're coming back from the dead, or what? Have you have you died at sea? Has some ancient god brought you back to life, and are you carrying his whims out to be a fanny? What's the crack? Yes, saved from the deep, saved now, by the master. Who's the master? I mean, what, what's his name? The deep one. Well, that's that's fucking helpful. I mean, is he going to attack us? Are you, have you been telling him to attack us, make shit bad for us, or are you telling him to go let these guys through, the cool guys? Information. What, what's the deal? He wants information. He wants to know what is happening above. Important uh, what have you people, told him? important events. Uh, what, what, have you, what exactly have you told him about us, other than the fact that I am ravishingly handsome? <laughs> you are interesting. You are not like the others. Well, I, I could have told you that, you know. Your mum could have told you that as well, but you know, it's been a long time since I've seen her. So. <laughs> shit talking him in his jar. Roll an intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and you see him hard. charming and intimidating. And he go grabs at his head. Next up is Camney. Are we still not attacking him? Bob? Yeah. Uh, you, do you want to move, think... Jeff? You're gonna move if you want to do it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move to here. Okay. And uh, yeah. No one attack this guy. I've got him sussed. He's a freaking funny. That's what it is. So uh... where Pandax Field is, you can't you can't move to there because you're moving at half speed going through it. So All right. you want to uh... be going down. Down the road. So sort of straight down if you want to. Yeah. Alright, so there ish. Uh, one, two, yeah, about there. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So I will close the distance a little bit. But Stafford's gone, sorry. Oh, it lasts one round, yeah. I was about to say that's yeah. gone now. So, yeah, sorry, Jeff, you can go wherever you want. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll stay where I am. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to close, but not to within striking distance. And then, um, because I'd still have a bit of move left, can I, like, hold, move, and action? You can hold an action. Okay. Uh, fuck it, I'll move to within striking distance and then I'll hold to the strength my great axe. What's the trigger? Uh, in Jeff's instruction. Jeff's instruction. Okay. Yep. Don't hit him yet. I'll let you know <laughs> if he's gonna be a dick. <laughs> Just like right. frozen in face. <laughs> so it's his turn. He's going to. He's going to do a psychic screech. Okay, so I need you all to make a DC 13 wisdom saving throw. So oh, all of you, that? so Jeff, uh, so just make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, so you all make it. Uh, <laughs> Right, so you hear this shriek emit from Urs, and it's not a physical shriek, you feel it in your brains, in your mind. You all seem to shrug off its effects though, and he's going to make a move to one, two, there. So Camney, if you want, you can make an attack of opportunity. Does, sorry, does that attack... Uh, count as him attacking us. That was his action. Yeah, and it was attack against us, so my held action. If was... you w if you want to count that as an attack, you can then trigger your action if you were holding it for an attack. So Dabble, you were holding it for an attack. Uh, Pandak, you were holding for an attack, and um... I was holding. Camry, you are you are holding for orders, so explicitly mm -hmm. for instruction. So yeah. he won't make his move yet. So if, if Dabble or Panet want to make um, their actions... I'm going to hold I off for a moment. It's Jeff's, Jeff's show at the moment. Put this uh, I think we should... Give me, give me one more round, guys. And if, you don't, if I can't persuade him next time, let's just kill this fucker. Okay, I hold off. Okay, so he makes his move to the bottom of the steps. Uh, Hang I on, so he can go three. one, two, three, four. I really don't think we should let him get downstairs. Seven, eight. He's going to move to there, actually. Is that up on the top deck? Up on, up on the uh, upper, upper deck, yeah. So let me. Uh... He's on the poop deck. <laughs> he's on the poop deck. Oh god. Hashtag branding. There we go. So he's there <laughs> on the on the edge. I'll put him there. He's not off the boat, but he's on that tile. Uh, next up is Pandak. You've seen him run up the stairs. I look over at Jeff. Run, run up after him. Make sure I don't jump off. I, but don't, I am not chasing him. But, but don't, don't punch him. Or I'll just, 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 I am not just get ready. I have got just get ready to fire a massive piece of ice at his dick or something, man. <laughs> I'm going to move forward slightly, uh, but I'm not going to use another action. Okay, if you want to maintain line of sight, you want to be here on him to look up the steps and be able to see him actually no you can you can see from there you can see him from there just about but yeah, I will, i'll move. class him as being in cover 
if you're not on the same level as him. I'm going to move down so here. My held right. move from last time is still being held, right? No, it's, that's gone now. You've got a new turn. Oh, okay. Oh. Sorry. Okay, so I'm going to then hold I'll move back then. missile Sorry. again for instructions from Jeff. Okay. So now Devil's up. Yeah, I'm going to move down to here just to keep uh, uh, trained on, but again, waiting for Jeff. Jeff's call. Okay, um, so he's going to be in full cover with the the, um, the the railing from where you're stood. If you want to move to the bottom, like here, you'll be in half cover. And if you want to move up to the top, you won't be in cover at all. So where you are now, mm. if you want to shoot him, he's in full cover. Move to the top, but hang fire, man. Cool. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going to move to the top then. Uh, okay. Where can I get? Can I get to to here or here? You were there, weren't you? So can I get one, to there? One, two, uh, three, four, five. You can get to here. Where's that? Sorry, I, I'm trying to look in two things. Okay, I'll go there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up, Jeff. All right. So I need to get upstairs first, so I can shout at him. Uh. So if I went to, um, I'm trying to think. Can I get to there? Will I see him there? Um, so currently, Dad was at the top of the stairs. So if you want to get eyes on him, you'll probably you will have to go up the stairs. Okay, because yeah. In fact, let's move everybody up to the top because that's easier. So, I, I was trying to figure out because yeah. these stairs on this boat picture go up. Can I get yeah. Yeah. There? Oh. So where you where you are is the same place as on the second picture down. Yeah, I'm moving Just everybody up. Just like I should have done in the first place. There we go. <laughs> so Dad was at the top of the stairs. Camera's over the grating. Um, you can't see him directly unless you go past Dad. Okay. Um, so you've made one. You've made two squares of movement now. So you've got yeah. four squares left. Unless you run, unless you spend your action running, in which case you you, you can take another move action. Let's see. Uh, I'll try. Bear me a second. Salty surprise. I'm trying to see the range. So it's thirty feet range. That I need to. So I need to see him. Right. So I need to be 30 feet of that. So if I was to move to there, that should be in range. Uh, it's can in I range. See him there or... You can you can just about see him. He's in cover because Dabble's in front of you. Yeah. But I, I can just about see him, so I can yeah. see him. You can see him, yes. All right, so get to there. So, come on, dude. We can see you. We know you're about to jump off into the sea to go see your fucking master, who's going to probably kill you anyway because you're a bit of a fanny. So stop all this bollocks. Drop your guard. Let us know exactly what you're doing, and we might make you live. You know, you could be a good fresh. You could be a good fish guy. He just screeches at you. You get the feeling that your last um, comment about his mother broke his um, broke your charm on him. Ooh! So he just right, guys. Screeches at you. Fair game, yeah. Yeah, right, guys. Fair game. Fuck him. Let's right. kill this motherfucker. So currently, Davil and Pandak have held actions. All right, uh, loose. Okay. Um, uh, roll you. Oh, you, you don't get part. sneak attack because he's not in combat with them. Yeah. yeah, that'll hit. Roll the damage. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm being. If you just click today. on the word short bow, it will roll the damage for you. No, that's my short bow skill. Yeah, so in, in the chat. Where, you, where it says short bow, if you click it, yeah. it will roll the damage for you. Ah! There we go. Didn't right. realise that. Thank you. Um, so, 11 damage. Okay. So. You see him going for the railing. 
and you've got a really good shot on him now and you pull your, your bow back loose it and it and it drives the arrow straight into his back and he sort of slumps rises back up and continues to try and climb the railing Handak, you have a held action yep so all three of them are going to go straight to him okay that's six damage and all three of your magic missiles seek up. The first one hits him and knocks him back onto the deck. And then the other two follow up, slamming into his chest from above. And he's not moving anymore. Yeah. All right, guys. I think you're correct. It was a bit dodgy. Right. <clears throat> at this at this point, um, a couple of the crew are now coming up onto the onto the deck and they're saying, "What's going on? What's the shouting?" Camney has just what? stood there with the smuggest fucking look on his face. <laughs> Hands on his hips, like, told you. What's going on? Well, um, I, I hate to tell you this, but your quartermaster was... Uh, it was a bitch of an old god, and uh, it wasn't actually a human. If, we, if you look over there, it was a sort of fishy corpse thing. That's your quartermaster. What? Yeah. So, you you direct them up onto the onto the deck, and this um, this fish creature is lay there, just leaking blood, leaking its black blood onto the deck. What the bloody hell is that? That's your quarter, get, the, get the captain. Get the captain. He says to the other one, the other dwarf. The other dwarf runs downstairs. A minute or so later, the captain comes up. Oh, I have his name. Uh, Captain Alred, and he, he comes up easy off. Right, what's going on? Someone says something about Urz? Yeah, Urz is a bit um, dead. Sorry about that, but he was uh, an undead fish guy who was uh, serving uh, some drowned god. And the the dwarf, um, the the, um, the crew member says, Captain, come, come up, come up, I'll show you. And he, he takes him up and shows him the creature. And the captain says, "This, this is you're telling me this is Urz." And the dwarf says, "Yeah, that's that's what they said." Right, search it the ship. Was. Find find Urz. Search the ship. He's, yes, captain. And he goes down. Um, Are we right. all going to be drug up board on on the deck? One of you. Tell me what happened. All right. Um, I'll, I'll tell him exactly everything that's happened. And, uh, uh, roll a persuasion check. Oh, I hope you say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you explain what you what you saw that you saw him muttering something that you could you used your magic to determine that he was talking to some some master. You confronted him and uh, he attacked you when you you uh, revealed to him that you knew what was going on. And then he says, "Well." I suppose the evidence is right at my feet. Um, thank you. I, uh, I, he'd been with us four or five months now. He was, he was, he liked to keep to himself. But I never thought he'd do anything like this. He's certainly not, not a, not attacked or tried to harm any of the crew or any of the other passengers. Um, Right. What kind of there, man? And the, the the dwarf comes back up and he says, "No sign of him, Captain. He's, he's not in his he's not in his quarters." Right. Well. Okay. I don't. Sorry, know. dude, but th these things happen. It's, it's thanks to this barbarian motherfucker here who went. That guy's dodgy, and I just thought I'd check up on him, and uh, he was. Then, in in that Sorry. case, you have my thanks. Sir. I don't know what he was planning on doing, but I'm glad that he that you managed to stop him doing whatever he was doing before he managed to take it out on on the crew or or any other passengers. Ordinarily, I toss this over the side, but I want the clerics in Pale Bank to look at this. This is this isn't right. Um, you, Follow you, and he, and he points at the doors. Uh, tie this thing in netting and rope put it in the bilge 
we'll hand it off to the clerics when we, when we make sure at Pale Land. Uh, Before you do that, can I just have a quick uh, once over to make sure that he's actually dead and he's not got any sort of crazy old god booby traps on him where he might explode on you or something like that? Um, yeah, uh, make a. Uh, hmm. Make a crazy god booby trap roll. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Right, oh, let's see what my it's... options are. Uh, make me a. Uh, investigation check. It's messy. It's covered in in blood. Um, the the clothes he was wearing have torn where the where the body has changed um his possessions uh seem to be literally limited to his his axe uh and his clothes you don't find anything else on him um, can i um can i attempt a, a nature check to see if i know what kind of creature this is give me an arcana check no, I'm good at nature. Can I do? <laughs> yeah, I know you. Does does this look natural to you? <laughs> I mean, uh, I can't. I suck. Oh, I'm really good there at. There you go. <laughs> okay, so you actually do remember some tales that you've heard when you were making your way down from the your Goliath villages into the world of of the non Goliaths. You've heard of things called deep science that were um, creatures made by dark underwater creatures, large, powerful, almost godlike underwater creatures, leviathans, who like to pluck things they find out of the ocean and reanimate them to send them back onto land as to act as their eyes and ears to keep them informed as to what is going on and if there is anything that would interest the um, that interest the the plans and, and plots of these deep sea creatures okay. and you think this is what this is cool so you think he All was right. probably lost overboard at some point and then picked yeah. up and changed and altered and then sent back so I uh, yeah I, I kind of to the party, but also make it clear to the captain that you know I, I know you're taking him back to shore, but you, yeah, you absolutely cannot go back into the sea. No, that's yes, that's a yeah, good idea. They'll probably just recycle him and send him back. But uh, again, thank you for your help. I'll make sure Elro is is informed of your contributions when we make when we make sure. Cool. Okay. Well, guys, I am in need of a long rest. Because yeah. I am very almost dead. Yeah. So, shall we call it there? And say yeah. the, the rest of the trip passes uneventfully. Uh, Yadarsel very much keep it to herself, keeping out of the way. Um, Davil, roll me a uh, 1d100. Okay. What, publicly? Yeah. Oh, rule. I can't type today. <laughs> okay, wow. so you, you spent some time playing dice with the crew, um, but they seem to have got the measure of you now. Um, oh. The 30 silver that you managed to win on the first night, you, you lose back. Okay, to well, that's fine. Crew. It's fine, it's making up for everything. Yeah, it breaks but, uh, yeah every... You, Everything's friendly, even though you've killed one of their colleagues. You're still friendly with them, and then at the end of the trip, you're, you've broken in. Of course, um, if we've been playing RuneQuest, that would have been a crit. Yes, but yeah. <laughs> if we were playing Baccarat, you probably would have been someone else, but yeah. Um, right. <laughs> so, I shall move you over to Hyar. And we'll pick up next time. Back in Powerbank Village. Some, on our new custom maps. Ooh. Oh, it looks like a custom map. What did you make it with? Uh, a program called Incarnate. 
Incarnate. That's I'm really so nice, happy dude. He Incarnate Pro. Pro. I put my hand in my pocket for this one because I wanted some nice maps, but yeah. Uh, that's rather cool, man. Nicely done. Awesome. I have a, I have a thing for you after the, after the plane. Um, Ooh, uh, hello, me, Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Oh, wow. Dungeon maker tool that a guy on Twitter is. Um, uh, it's very cool. It's like oh, no. I, I will certainly take any uh, any tools that you want to put my way. Um, yeah, this is good for doing maps i can do caves with it i can do outdoor encounters with it and i've done a few um it's not good at all for doing dungeons so i'm having to find other stuff to do dungeons but uh, yeah yeah there we go and i'll switch the music over to something more um bagpipes <laughs> is this <laughs> going to be the tradition we're going to we're going to close out on bagpipes well once the druid's thought... back on land uh, he can he can come back to to uh reality uh, and wishes to express to the rest of the party that during his trip, he feels that there's a great unbalance. Uh, and once they relate to him about the fish person, he's going to, whether rightly or wrongly, put two and two together and assume they are connected. Yeah. Can I ask me your drugs next time? Because... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You you have a few mushrooms left after the trip. You let let's say you have three three of your specially gathered mushrooms from okay. from the Vertuthor yeah. forest. But uh, if you want to top up you're gonna have to find someone or yeah. uh, or go trips, foraging. If, if we're gonna have to go fight fish people, we're gonna have to supply up here. Because me and the sea don't go together and I'm not particularly happy about the sea coming on the land. That that's properly unnatural. Hell even even just me doesn't like that. <laughs> mm. Okay. Can I, so, can, I cast, can I cast a um, charm person and make him get a bath? Um, <laughs> roll. Okay. To be Let's honest, see. in fairness, after this, a, a trip does make me feel quite dirty. I will, for the first time in 50 years, bathe for the first time uh, and even okay. go and pay for the service. We'll, we'll say that you make your way to the Jolly Dwarf and. Um... Get some yeah, lodgings. I'll, I'll, you, you arrive I'll, late at night. You you go to the Jolly Dwarf and uh, you take some lodgings and, and take advantage of their their bathhouse. I'll, I'll give them five there silver you. for, there's, there's for the a, a hot bath. Yeah, um, and, and spray myself in lavender and other such things. So <laughs> okay. I I now smell like an old lady. <laughs> Very well. Right, and that is that is tonight's episode. Cool. And uh, cool. yeah, I, I planned for that whole sea trip to take maybe thirty minutes, maybe forty minutes. But you, you, you role played the hell out of it and <laughs> stretched it to the whole session, which means I've got plenty of stuff in the bank for for what's coming up next. And, and here I was worried my little bit would actually hijack the session and did nothing. Yeah. <laughs> far, far from the there truth. we go. Have some faith in your in your colleagues finding the <laughs> hidden fish people. <laughs> I, was I thought all, you handled it fairly well. I, I was, was all right. ready to go combat with with Kameny on the first round when he when he pulled his battle axe. I thought, here we go, it's going to be two v one, and they're going to he, they're, he's going to kick their ass. But no, <laughs> yeah, you went four v one, and you rolled brilliantly. And Jeff, again, with the charm person oh. again, he had advantage on on uh, with some saving throws. He had advantage and he still <laughs> failed. No one, because it's, it's safe from my fucking job. Dude, look, I want to tell you a story. I was GMing a game once, and it had been set up, and we'd done six weeks of gaming, and the the crew were coming to fight this great big undead thing. Yeah. Now, Rollmaster has a critical system that if oh, you no, roll, don't, don't don't remind me. Don't I know, me. but you basically, over an imaginary dead tortoise, you are very confused. <laughs> yeah. But the party comes up now. I've been planning this fight. I uh, literally, we've I've gotten in extra snacks because I know that this battle is going to take at least an hour and a half. Yeah. Yep. First guy wanders up, fires a shot, rolls amazingly, double open ended, tops out the fucking critical, shoots the thing straight between the fucking forehead, drops dead. The whole thing's over in three minutes, and I'm like. Oh shit! <laughs> oh well, whole script out the window. Complete yep. <laughs> party basically raked the treasure. Nobody took a point of damage, and I was like, "Oh." Fuck. I actually had this encounter written for your trip out. 
and I, I was going to have because uh, Camney posted up on deck to sleep and I was going to have Camney notice him doing this but you rolled a really shitty roll and didn't notice <laughs> and, and I was waiting I for you to antagonize him to the do. to the point where you would get into a fight and then I could we could trigger the encounter but never happened you you held yourself back and you never caught him doing his nefarious stuff so. well that was thank, right oh, thank god you got a multilingual bard bastard who can <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have charm to look at everything yeah you can speak all the language no you can understand all the languages you can charm everything you can uh, yeah bard's op yeah bard's you, definitely OP. you need Level to clear three. okay my, my, my yeah, own power has just gone <laughs> yeah. Can't wait till I get to um, start using spells from other fucking classes. Yeah, when he gets to sixth level, he can use spells from any class. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh that's going to be interesting. Oh yeah. yeah he's going to be I'm doing gonna, some next I'm level. I'm going to be the best mage just to piss off the dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's your best skill? Yeah, I'm going to fucking learn it before you do, dickhead. <laughs> Uh, well, I think that was a good session. Yeah, it was yeah. Really fun, good laugh. Yeah, yeah cool. it was good fun. I needed a laugh.